Everybody else built this freaking program. They put it on a level. But we've got people all over the country watching a high school team. Welcome to Little Rock, home of the Pulaski Academy Bruins. This is Arkansas. I don't think we wear shoes either. Our coach is different. Trust me, just do exactly what I say, no question. We never punt. We always go for two. This is either going to be really good or really bad. And always onside kick. Are you going to kick me a good one? Go get the freaking ball one time. We won seven state titles, but last year we came up short. This is our story of redemption. Think about how you're going to feel if we freaking lose. We're winning that chip. And we were doing it our way. When you were like three, your parents would be like, all right, Charlie, it's time to go to bed. Did they go one, two, two and a half, Charlie? You know how many numbers my kid got? Zero numbers, Charlie. Coach Kelly, he's definitely one of kind. Nobody else like him. Try to grab it, roll the flash. Says the blunt honest truth. We got people dodging bombs in Iraq, and you can't go a little harder at the end. He has the years of each state championship tattooed to his arm. Coach Kelly, he's ripped. Not afraid to show it off. That's just the way I grew up in South Arkansas. We're a pretty small team, so he makes us look bigger. Because we have but do every job. He doesn't cuss. Freaking finish. At least y'all will freaking try. Oh, In dang minutes. You never know what's going to be thrown at you. Get on the goal line. We're just going to run. We ain't doing any more practice. Friends with Bill Belichick. Fourth down, whatever it is, we're going for it. A Harvard professor analyzed 3,000 games. He decided you shouldn't punt the football. We were just trying to find a way to win football games with smaller guys. Coach Kelly has won seven state titles so far. Looking to add to the tattoo this year. Pulaski Academy won four straight state championships. Little Rock Christian ended the run, so it's been a long time the Bruins opened up the season without being the defending champs. To be a quarterback at Pulaski Academy, it's a big burden to carry. Go. Winning a state championship, the cap, your whole high school football experience. Hey, first over, first deep, finish strong. He's the quarterback, and so it starts from him. I've played with Braden since I came over to PA in sixth grade. Nice job, Jaden. Plays hard. Somehow he makes the craziest throws to look easy. The history of quarterbacks at Pulaski Academy, they've all been winners. I get, get the first down. It's more than a game. It's in the blood of the school. For the first time since the start of the 2014 season, the Pulaski Academy Bruins aren't entering a season as defending class 5A state champions. Coming up short last year. He takes a lot of blame for that game. One of the worst feelings. Yeah. Get on that bus and just, yeah, you feel like you've let people down, the coaches down, the fans. Right now, I don't have any college offers. He's short for quarterback, but he definitely can play. If I'm going to play quarterback at 5'10", 170, got to be able to go out and prove every single Friday night with bigger guys. I've been fortunate enough to coach Hunter Henry. This team does not have that NFL talent, so we need to work that much harder. In week one, we play Springdale Harbor. They're bigger than us. We're coming off a bad performance. They've got a lot of nice athletes. We're going to have to be smarter as coaches. So one of the things we do is we have silent practice. You all understand the rules of silent practice, right? Silent practice, it's making everything kind of harder. Feels weird. You wouldn't even be able to tell that there's a football practice going on. It makes you focus in more. If we talk, we do up-downs. Get them moving. Now. We want to make them comfortable being uncomfortable. Down. Definitely crazy. Down. Coach Kelly, the bond he has with us quarterbacks, he's going to push us very hard in front of everybody. Permission to speak, Braden. What the freak are you doing? Come on, give him a good throw. Get your crap together, Braden. We throw the ball more than anybody in America. You have to build a screen. I don't even want a freaking playoff hit. Y'all just piss me off. I think that quarterback is the hardest job on the planet. Inside double fold and dagger. He's the quarterback and he does go under a lot of pressure from the coaches. It's a nightmare, the weak, complete lack of effort that we show. I love playing for Coach Kelly. He's coaching us hard and just says the blunt honest truth. Misery loves company. Do you at least feel my pain? Braden sends me a text at midnight. Coach, I'm going to help you out with our team and myself. Well, I feel like we let him down. I just want to let him know that that was not going to happen going forward. I'm not going to let everything you and the guys before us have done go to waste. I can promise you we will get it fixed or at least die trying. Well, I texted him back. Everybody needs somebody to motivate them. Tonight, you, you did that for me.
That's the relationships in high school football that make you want to get up and come to work and go to practice the next day. Yes, boys. You might need to talk to Savannah because she came up to me freaking out about Friday. She said I've had tickets to a concert and didn't know what to do. I'm going to let Savannah come to me. I'll tell her to come to you. No, don't say anything. See what she does. Savannah is the kicker. I told you a long time ago, keep your Friday nights open. It has to be hard to be the only girl on a football team. Do you think I treat all the kids the same? No. I don't. There's some things I don't make you do because you gotta go sit in the movie theater with a bunch of boys. I was playing soccer. I saw her out kicking and I saw an opportunity. Are you nervous? No, sir. Savannah, don't lie. It's okay to be nervous. I'm not nervous. Eventually, I was like, I think I might actually do this. A nice kick, Savannah. You see the girl kicker on some high school football teams that are kicking PATs or whatever, but she's kicking onside kicks. Nice kick. I was surprised at first whenever she decided to play football, and I thought it was really cool. No one else does it, yeah. so it's pretty cool. Yeah, she's pretty cool that I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> After we score, we always onside kick. Oh, drop kick. You're gonna screw this one up, aren't you, Savannah? No, sir. For some reason, they don't rule onside kicks as turnovers. It's the same exact thing. Yeah, I'll be giving up a little yardage, but if I get that extra turnover or two, what could that do for me? Nice hustle! Good job, both guys. We're 117 and three. When we recover an onside kick in a game, we're 52 and 0 if we get two. You are part of the statistic that helps us win more than anybody else. We're good? Okay. The other kickers are Von Selick and Clay James. That's a competition. We're competing. That's precision when you want a different ball. She comes out and practices her kicks every day. I don't treat it like it's something fun. I treat it as if it's something that no one gets to do. You might as well go full force. I'm thinking about changing play one, because you're so slow at getting back on the other side of the freaking field for play two. Jaden Kelly played running back last year, but he's switching to receiver this year. Last year, I had 2,000 total yards, 17 touchdowns. At right, receiver, he's 6'2". He's one of those off the bus guys. The goal for me is to be a Division I football player. Go. Good. Colleges say they would like to see me play receiver. Come on, Jay. You act like every step's your last. We ain't going to have lack of effort. Coach Kelly is very hard on Jaden. You ain't going to stand down here and use it as rest time. Jaden, he comes off of people as a lackadaisical or doesn't really care just because he's nonchalant. Jaden Kelly takes another freaking walking step on my field. He does. Sometimes when he makes a mistake, you want to see that a kid cares. You know, we run the first play of the game to Jaden, and you know what he does to go the other side? He does this. We can't run a play. And then when he gets five yards from the spot, he goes like this. He thinks that I'm not caring or trying. I don't show much emotion. Worry about your feet second. Catch the ball first. That's going to be a real challenge this year. Guy went from 2,000 yards last year to no freaking yards this year. My close friends, I'm more the life of the party. <laughs> My dad comes to some of the practice to make sure I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Hey, how you doing, Coach? Got to ask you a question. All right. On, um, like, weekends, uh -huh. is it okay if uh, my son come up here and train? Oh, yeah. I absolutely can. Okay. Absolutely can. He's got to work on adjusting to the deep ball. I'm just like, what's he doing here? I'm worried about you doing your deal. You know, I want, I want to put a lot of pressure on you. It's all supposed to come together for the senior year. These first three games are important for you. Everybody's going to be watching. Yeah really important for you. And it's game day, baby. Ooh, Finally here. The game of the week, Pulaski Academy in Springdale Harbor. And it's been a long time the Bruins opened up the season without, you know, having that big target on their chest as being the defending champ. The more things change, the more they stay the same, right? I mean, uh, they're the faves. We're playing Springdale Harbor tonight. Their whole offensive line averages about 285. We've got four or five kids over 200 pounds on the whole team. Now, Bruin Football 2019 starts. You have one choice and one choice only. That is to go 100 miles an hour, as hard as you can, as smart as you can, the way you've been coached. That's why we win. That's what's built our program into the national program that it is. I'm proud of you. Go lead us. First three. Let's go. Out of the gate, here's Braden Bratcher. They start off a little slow. Comes a blitz. He runs out of bounds. Nobody looked at it. Brayden! Rogers alone in the backfield. Uh, hit him across the field, makes a great catch. 
40, the 30, the 20. And then he runs for a touchdown. Wow! Feeling of relief, honestly. Um, just that we finally got our first score. Let's go! You ready? What you want kick? NBA. Okay. Just relax. We go out and do the first kick. The onside kick is quickly recovered. We don't not get it, which is very nerve wracking. You kicked it good, you just kicked it a little left. Harbor, they're making great plays. There's the pass immediately out to Jay Burns. Harbor Wildcats, they answer that one real quickly. Hey, 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 check 50, copy, copy. So here comes the snap again to Bratcher. Everything's clicking. Whoa, that was complete, Jaden Kelly. There's the snap, there's the pass down the right side. Again, Cobb is in the end zone. That was a good freaking play to get started with. Burns behind him, hands off to him, and he has got running room again. Oh. He's out of bounds at about the two yard line. There's the snap, hand off to Burns, and he's gonna run it right up the middle for a touchdown for the Wildcats. We're gonna have to keep scoring, because it doesn't look like Aaron we can stop McCray. anybody. Oh, no. We may have to score 10,000 points. He's looking to his right. Wow, what a pass. We're gonna kick our copter this way. Seal team, Bond's gonna give us a shot at it. Go get it, let's go. If we just get one, it's we over. Get it. And it is Seelick, he does kick it. It's bobbling, it looks good. It's off the fingertips. There we go. Uh oh. Bond gets an onside kick. Z motion right base. Scores of our games definitely go wild, almost like a Madden game. We're scoring a point every 15 seconds right now. It's the end of oh, the, it's first the, end quarter. the first quarter. We're already, the Bruins leading 32 to 12. There's the snap, almost kind of snubbed it there. Pass is complete, across the 10, the five, and he's in there for a touchdown. Harbor cutting the lead down and coming back against us. Are we trying anything different? Are we doing the same crap and they're scoring every time? First down. Let's go, Bratcher go. shotgun. All alone. He has three receivers to the left. He's gonna keep it. He's in the first down. He's at the 40, the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Brayton wow. Bratcher. It's the kind of touchdowns we like. Did y'all get any blocks, or is it just a good play call? I got, I got blocks. <laughs> it's looking like it's gonna be a high scoring game. You're in a freaking zone. Everything you do is magic. Right before halftime, and I was running. The back of my head hit the turf. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, what did you hurt? It's my head, it's just whiplash. Nolan, you're the quarterback. No headache, no other issues. That end off goes immediately to guess who, Jay Burns. You're killing us on that. End off goes to Burns, he's in the end zone. We have got to stop somebody. I want to look at that a little bit more inside at halftime. Ace. Slide 57's wide open lateral to the tailback. Let's go. Todd's gonna go take him in there. Look at him for a concussion. They bring me to the trainer's room. What do we got? Biggest concern is his vision. Is he good there? Yeah, he is. A little worried that I wouldn't be able to finish the game. He checked out the big things. He was fatigued. No, he's freaking so hotter than hell. Like, yeah. Yards. Nothing's they asked all the questions and I was all good. I'm talking to you, defense. There's no excuse for 40 points in the first half, is there? 40 freaking points in the first half. It's 63 to 40 at half, and Coach Kelly is frustrated with the defense. You gotta man the freak up. There's a lot of things going through my head. Adrenaline, the atmosphere around us. College is looking at me. I have to continue to put points up on the board. Pulaski Academy has three different kickers vying for the starting job. You want them to pick you, but you never know. But it looks like Coach is going with Savannah Goodwin. She's thinking about it too much. To go out there and be alone, very nerve-wracking. There's a kick from Savannah received at the Bruins 49. We're kicking it left! You're kicking it to the same guy every time. Or just kick it a little bit further right. Don't do the same thing over and over. Expect a different result, OK? Come on now. Hand off immediately to Burns, and he's gone. I would not have given you an over-under of 100. Do your job. Your job is to get him down. You better tell us if you start having any issues. Hello. I'm back out in the field in the second half. Looking to pass. Oh, did he catch that? No, no. way. No. Do your freaking job. And Bradshaw throws long to... Oh, and it's intercepted. Oh We're in a dogfight. Wildcats are not letting this one get away. I mean, we got to call something, change guys, because freaking 60 points later, it's getting too late. We're outsized and it's starting to show. We're going to have to show some guts on this drive. They're going to stack six in the box. we got to throw the football. Our passing game needs to get back on track. 
I need to prove that I can play college ball. Looking to the left side, there's the pass. Jaden Kelly, touchdown Bruins. Way to keep working, son. Braden makes it look easy. Probably setting a record for total yards. Just have fun, be smart, sharp, focus. Yes, sir. You have to keep going, you have to score every drop. Things were opening up. It's complete to Joe Hyman. I hit Joe Hyman on a screen pass, and he, he goes all the way for a touchdown. With that pass, Braden Bratcher has accounted for 900 total yards, breaking a national record. Don't you tell me he's too small to play big time ball. This kid is a winner. At the end of the game, we have 84 points up on the board. Two points away from setting an Arkansas high school football record. As long as we get to them, we don't care. It being my first game as a receiver, it helped me out with my confidence with the college coaches. This boy ugly! This young man set a national record, 900 total yards on offense. At my size, you got to prove every single Friday night you can play the game. Hopefully, colleges will start looking at me. What's up, Overtime? It's Kevin Kelly, a.k.a. the coach who never punts. I want to talk to you about what you aren't going to get from dip. I coach my team to have toughness, guts, and resilience. These traits all come from within these players, not from a can of dip. If I'm not playing football, I'm usually hunting. It's Sunday morning, going to the farm to go deer hunting over in North Little Rock. It's my grandparents' farm. I can escape all the pressure for at least a few hours. Today, we have to kill a doe before we kill a buck. It's just you and you're out there in the woods and you aren't worrying about football and stuff because you need to worry about that six days a week. To be a quarterback at Plasky Academy, it's stressful, but it comes with the job. A lot of people's goals are to win conference championships or to make it to the playoffs. To get the other one. Ours is to win the state championship every single year. And coming up short last year, we got to win it this year. Oh, yeah. My brother lost one game his whole high school career and won four state championships. You can't just let my brother win four state championships and me only win two. Didn't really contribute in either one of those that much. There's something to prove there. I don't think Coach Kelly can have the patience to sit here and do your heart. Unfortunately, sat in the stand, waited it out, saw a lot of bucks. But it's not where we we're after this morning. We're trying to kill a doe. It's called hunting, not killing. So you got to be patient and keep going. Here we go, Here we go, Here we go, Chicago, Chicago. Here we go. Man, on, Miles. Fuck the right guy. You're gonna get somebody killed. You've got no room. Are you wondering how we ever win a game over here with the chaos? You're not. Here's how you came off the ball. How's that right? Coach Kelly calls me out. He's not really happy about me jogging. Get him moving. Jaden wanted to run his route about 50 percent. Now. I had to get on him more than I did the other kids. You think you can do it for us, Jaden? Don't act like a days ago. Show him that you care. You want me to tell coaches good things and that's what I get? Should never happen, never. Dow! It's hard to read it because he just doesn't give you any emotion. This better be the best freaking one you've ever run. Because if you don't run a great one, we're doing it again. They want to celebrate the win when I know we've got to play a lot better to be able to compete this next week. Sometimes I got to go in and grab their attention. I mean, a partner. We're partnering with our players, guys. Can you focus and try to go hard? That's us partnering with you. And if you don't want to, it's okay. It is a very sarcastic partnership. Coach Kelly wanted to act like he was getting a partnership with the players and not be a coach. Nah, if y'all want to, we're going to do Team D down there. If you don't, we'll take a 10 minute break. Take it deeper and skinnier if you want to so you don't run right into those linebackers. Sometimes you go to the extreme way to give people what they think they want, and I mean extreme. So if you want to blitz that quarterback and get him good, if you want to run past him and let him run for 80, that's fine too. His partnership was not anything that anybody liked. It may change changed the whole way of our culture. We may be one of those cultures like some of these other schools that never win anything. But they're partnering. I hate the partnership. Maybe we play ourselves right out of the playoffs, but it'd be fine if we do. That partnership ended pretty quickly. Partnership over, down. This week we go to Ravenwood, which is in Nashville, Tennessee. Never played them before. One of the top teams in the country. They have five SEC commits. One of them is on the D-line. That's a lot of good offers. <laughs> you can have as much talent as you want. There is no substitute for hard work. We're getting on the bus. Mary, count the number of kids on the bus. Not adults, kids. Everyone's on the bus but Jaden. Freaks he doing? Jaden Kelly is late for the bus. But the worst part is walking to the bus. I go to get food already on a time crunch. 
and coach gets mad and kind of just lets me have it. I mean, he's been yelling at you all week, and you're going to do that. I've got to decide how I'm going to treat him during the game coming up that we need him at. He's the star of the last game. We left our school at about noon today. It's so hot in here. The air conditioning is not working. Actually, buy a little fan here. We got it set up. It's pretty nice. We finally made it. Coach Kelly's like, okay guys, move your top golf. Top golf. It's a fun time for the kids. It's time to be competitive, but let them relax, take in some of Nashville. I never thought that we'd play top golf. It's pretty, it's interesting. You're actually doing an activity, so it's it's nice just getting to talk to everyone and have fun. <laughs> it went nowhere! It's interesting traveling with the boys. On, You're a girl on a football team, so it's definitely out of your comfort zone. The ratio is like zero to like a bunch. It took some getting used to, and I think I'm used to it now. And I'm really proud that I can kind of say that I've been a part of it. All right, I need an offense over here. Defense, stay back there in the parking spaces. We just had a walk through practice. Just get a refresher on like the first few plays that we're going to run, the defenses we're going to run. All right, go IJK offense. Throw right. We do it anywhere where we can find a spot. Those little things or what I'm going to have to do right tomorrow to make the difference. Jaden Kelly, I've got to decide how I'm going to treat him. I'm not thinking about this win game. I'm thinking about the big picture for the team. There's a little part of me that worried that he may have to sit out, try to instantly think that we have guys that will step up and fill the position right in, and we'll be good to go. Hey, Bruins on three. One, two, three. Bruins. I'm not nervous until I step foot on the bus. If you're gonna do something that not a lot of people do, you might as well go full force. I'm not too concerned about being benched at all for me being late and causing problems. If I'm gonna play quarterback at 5'10", 170, I gotta show them that I can do it. I have something to prove every Friday night. It's their homecoming night and so everyone is there. And there's an opportunity to show Tennessee and back home what we can do. While we're here, Jaden, let's make our important issue. Well, we don't know what to expect. Jaden's not starting the game. He's not playing the first series. Because Jaden's going to learn to do things my way. Jaden's 15 minutes late for the bus. You're a talented player, and I think you're a good kid, but I'm just ready to not even play yet. That's where I am. Coach Kelly says that I won't be starting for being late, and I feel disappointed I'm letting my team down by not being out there. Obviously, it wasn't what we wanted, but it's for the better of him and the team. All that matters is, do you go out and give the best effort that you have available for the entire time you're out there, and you play PA football? If you do those things, there is not a team in the United States of America that we can't think of. <laughs> There is quite a bit of pressure because a lot does depend on these kicks. The first kick, I saw his hand wrong and I just misread it. So I went ahead and kicked it. Our line wasn't ready to go receive it. What is she doing? Savannah! I didn't give a signal and you started kicking the ball. That's my fault. Freak, Savannah, you can't do that. There's the handoff to Number two, number 11, pitches it back to number four, Brian Garcia, and he throws it. They're throwing the ball, pitching it around. To number two, who finds a lane down the sidelines, and he's off to the races. And it's a touchdown. There's no excuse to look up, and your guy has a three or four yard cushion. There's the snap for Brutcher, and he has brought down. It's fourth and 10. Raptors getting their first taste of the fact that they do go for it on fourth down. It is broken up. We're not converting on fourth down like we usually do. Touchdown number two, Andrew Mason. They've got two touchdowns. We're in a terrible place. I asked Coach Kelly, can I go get into the game? He denies me. I think you're sorry because you want to play, not sorry because you think it's wrong. Remind me in a minute. Maybe I'll think about it. We were just making mistakes. Ten people doing the jobs, one person doesn't. Touchdown. I see number two score for a third time. Upset, but we're not giving up. It's only the first quarter. 
I mean, it's every play is something freaking stupid. How are we supposed to beat a team that's good but stupid? He took a hit as he was letting go of it. What do y'all think he's doing back there? Making sandwiches? Coach Kelly says he wants me to really feel this and learn a lesson so I don't ever do it again. Andrew Mason, touchdown. That sucks. Fix it. Four down. Wait, you're playing like a nervous little kid. 28 to 6. We're about to get run out of this state. Ah. You're like, what is going on? Now calm the freak down and go in. You're letting it all get to you. I feel helpless just sitting on the sideline, not being able to help out the team. We're going to fix the way you act. Watching the team not do well, you'd not be able to do anything about it. it hurts. I'm going to let you go in, but if you do it again this week, you're out to hack. Bratcher's running the right side. There's the pass. Jaden Kelly. Nice to be able to get in the game and get a first catch. A goal of mine to play college football. The scouts seeing me play, I'm feeling really confident. Underdog isn't a word that we're used to being described as. Definitely the best defensive line I've played against. All this D1 players. There's the snap. He's looking to the left side. In the end zone. Touchdown. Bruin. We finally score. 2.2. Two. Feeling like, okay, we can get things going. We can come back with a surge of our own. They're on the ropes right now. If we can somehow put a little pressure on them, it's a game changer. This is why you practiced in the summer all that all year. Hey, let's go. And I put the ball in its specific place. Everything has to be perfect. All right, here is Savannah Goodwin. I kick it. Savannah, of course, kicked it, and it looks like Cooper White recovered the onside kick. That is what I'm Feels so good. It's like everything you did paid off. I grew up watching high school football. Getting to make an impact in a game with that many great players is huge. I think those guys know about the onside kick now. Maybe they've heard of it. Joe Hyman is in the backfield. Joe, the running back, gets a tackle up on my ankle, but it hurts me pretty bad. And I'm in a lot of pain, but I don't want to slow up the offense. It's a big game for us. I definitely want to be out there to help us win. Hey, if the stopping goes not there, you got the one. The part of me you don't see the will to fight on and not just give up with the little pain. Get inside the numbers! We drive down after recovering the onside kick. Me and Jaden on this one play had a little miscommunication between the two. There's Bradshaw. He's looking to the left side. He's going to gun it right into the end zone, and it's intercepted. Can you pull it down? Safety's going to come across. It's like you're so close, and then you just blew it. Stop and Ray, then what should you do? Stop and run away and look immediately. We'll throw it before you get to anybody. Again, classic Jaden. It is halftime. What's up, Overtime? It's Kevin Kelly. Early mornings, endless practice, and a good attitude bring success on the field. You don't need smokeless tobacco to keep you going when the going gets tough. The real satisfaction comes from hard work and determination, not from a can of dip. We're all thinking he's going to be mad. I know y'all think I'm going to come in here and run and scream and just flip out. We're doing every dumb thing we can do, and we're still in the game. Seriously. Think about that. He's like... Y'all are doing bad, but we're in this game for some reason. Just come together and fight for each other and fight as hard as you can. And it'll be a great comeback. I promise you, it'll be a fun comeback. It'll be something to remember. Everybody got it? Let's go. And off goes to Hyman. He's going right up the middle. We're running the ball. Throw Hyman, Throw again. Hyman again. Short passes to get us down the field. Pass is complete to Andrew Cobb. Converting. Finally, there's the snap. He's going to keep it himself, running to the left side, and he's in there for a Bruin touchdown. Way to run hard at the start of that job. Now. The defense was having a very difficult time trying to stop number two. Caleb didn't turn around. You can't put him in. Six touchdowns, boy. They have this kid, Andrew Mason, who's going to Rice, and we have nobody like him. Everybody in the world knows he's Bell, and I don't want to listen to the bull crap. Get the ball back. There's the snap. Scrambling out of the pocket. Pass is out there, and it's caught. Touchdown, Bruins! Go down and score, and it's 40 to 32. Do y'all really know that they're scared to death right yes, now, sir? We want them to pick you, but you never know. Vaughn? Yes, sir. Or are you going to kick it well? Yes, sir. Coach lets Vaughn kick this one. Yes, sir. Look at him. Tell him I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. All right, here we go. Go get Vaughn's kick. Let's go. I'm hopeful that it gets the cape. Hey, kick it to 14! We recover one onside kick, and we're likely to win the game. I just kidding, 14, you're good, you're really good. Game yeah, when you recover two onside kicks and it's like done. He is gonna kick it to you though. There's the onside kick. And 
and the Bruins have it. Number 14, he bobbles it, and then Clay James comes out and recovers it. Gives us a great opportunity to get on the score. Pro left, pro left, hey, 50 working, stick. Let's go. Let's go. Keep working. I don't really think about college scouts. I just want our team to win. Roger, he's going to pass it. It's complete. Touchdown, Bruins. You're down 20 to six. Now you're tied 40 to 40. You're feeling good. Defense, go out there and y'all make a freaking play. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Number two, he's scoring all their touchdowns. I ain't worried about two on fourth and six. Well, maybe I should be. Fourth and six now. Andrew Mason, his speed is unbelievable. Yeah, Find the receiver up in the middle. He escapes the grasp and finds the end zone. He scores again, making the score 47 to 40. You backed off. Uh, we are you can't give ground. A slot, Y hook and ladder, which I know. Read the linebacker for the X or the Z. There's the snap. He has three receivers down the right side. Yeah, I'm getting pressure from backside and I'm running away. And he bumbled, bumbled the ball. And Reggie Grant, he's a Howard House on the defensive line. And run it down for the He's going to run it into the end zone. To see all of our men just go away like that, it hurt. Could have scored and tied the game back up. Why didn't you throw the stop? Oh, God, I thought the seven was going to be open too. You, you don't get to decide. The linebacker's inside the Z standing there. Throw the short, quick thing. But if you don't run my offense, that's what's going to happen. Respect and shake their hands. They whipped our butts and made us like it. How did it feel? Eight touchdowns. It felt, it felt amazing. I'm just glad we got the win. He ends up the game with eight total touchdowns. He set a Tennessee record. Oh, go make a living doing this. Thanks, good. Coaches talk about moral victories. I don't believe any of that. We lost the football game. Does losing suck? Yeah. Remember how it feels. Do not be satisfied because y'all could have beat them. Well, it's just like a short, I mean, like a little play that is bare. After the game, my leg was hurting pretty bad. Hoping this injury isn't anything serious. We aren't all bought in. I blame myself for that. It hurts to lose a game and that I got hurt and got benched. Pretty tough sequence of events going on. We jump in the van, but we start on a film right then. Number two is the single most of the time. Get that done so when we come in Saturday, we're starting on the next team. If you go back to the last game of last year, we're one and two in our last three games. I am worried about them a little bit moving forward. Just by looks, if I had to grade it, I would say it's a grade two hamstring strength. Monday after the Ravenwood game, I'm in Todd's office. I really noticed sitting there I got clipped out of bounds on one of my runs. Once you strain a hamstring, they don't really like to heal very quickly. Definitely some doubt creeping in that I wouldn't be able to play. It's the last thing I wanted to do is set out one of my senior season games. Down. Down. Your responsibility to get down this building by 325 is to get your butt out here by 325. A lot of people are late out to practice. Half of them didn't walk in the door till 324. Off a loss is the last thing you want to do is do anything to make Coach Kelly mad. Down. I kind of got this whole thing started. Now, be like if you've got a date with a girl, and she says, be at my house, pick me up at 7 o'clock, and you got to go pick something up first. You're going to gas your car. You're going to wait till 6.59 to go get gas your car and take a chance on being late for 7. If you do, you're an idiot. He always uses some analogies like that to just like, get it through to the guys. Down. I honestly think it's kind of funny, and it gets through to me. Down. Does everybody understand? Yes, sir. sir. It's a weird week in a lot of ways. We find out we've got a rash of injury. Braden's hurt and Jaden's hurt. Todd tells me that it's an ankle sprain. There is definitely a hope that I can play. Rehab that we usually do and tape him, he should be able to play. But then at the back of my mind, I'm still thinking like, if I do play, I'm definitely not gonna be 100%. I want to do what's best for myself and the team. Go, go, go. We've got another tough game, very storied program in Shreveport Evangel. I'm gonna try to figure out why your way would be better than mine. Wait, nope, it's not. There's no way in free. We're gonna need a lot of other people to step up this week. Go! I've gotta start getting whoever's gonna back Braden Bratch or up ready. Nolan, you can't throw it through a human, Nolan. You're gonna have to throw it a little bit up and over. Nolan, he knows a lot of football. They're doing man and they have more people to run through. In sixth grade, my coach basically asked, who knows the plays and who can throw it? I was in those two categories. There you go, a little quicker. I'm very different than Brayden. 
pocket passer. I can't run. Nolan is very hard on himself. I want to know why you didn't run my way the first time. Because I, I, I thought I ran you way better. Than her. You did. Throughout the week, I'm so nervous. The starting job, it hits me hard. Right now, you're not giving anybody any confidence in the quarterback. Fill in the shoes of Braden Bratcher. It seems to be a lot of pressure on him. Y'all, that wasn't horrible overall. It wasn't great, but it wasn't horrible. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So I make the decision that I'm going to play both kids. Charlie, Charlie. No one's a year ahead of Charlie, but Charlie's coming along quick. I mainly stay inside the pocket, but I can escape and create something out of nothing. Skinny eight, Joe. Coach Kelly says that me and Pfizer would rotate throughout the game. Kind of bittersweet. God, you've got to throw it sooner. Being the EPA quarterback for a week comes with a lot of pressure. Throw it to our freaking guy. Weeks before, I would just stand back there and learn. You can't make a pre-stamp and that's the winner. It's pre-stamp and that helps you. Come on, Charlie. Five right T. It's all much faster and there's a lot more pressure on me. I'm telling them it's a football game that you're about to go out and play. Have fun. Where are the three starters? We're two games in. Now, all three of them legit hurt, okay? Everybody's got to step it up. You done for the year? All right, at least my quarterback's not done for the year. He comes to practice, and I'm like, are you going to play? He so said, put you on okay, some uh-huh. anti inflammatory stuff, mm-hmm. and see if you feel like you can play on Friday, then you can play. That kid's tough as nails. There's always a shot of him coming back. If you have any chance of playing that Friday night, you better be wearing your patch at practice. Hearing a million different things from my parents, from the doctor, from Coach Kelly, from Todd. The last thing I wanted to do was go play and then get it hurt worse. I hate for you to miss the game because you have a chance to set a national record that will never be touched. Coach Kelly just asked us to meet at 8.30 with cleats on, on the field, so that's where we're heading to right now. Three weeks ago, Braden set the national record for total yards in a game. Now it's all falling on them, which is going to take grit. It's my way 100%. You already decided to change some things on your own today. Falling below 500, that's not happened in a long time. Let's try to start about how long is Braden going to be out. I do feel a lot of pressure. Shreveport Evangel, a storied national powerhouse program. I didn't think they were ready. All right, here we go. A lot of emotions are going through me right now. I feel pressured. Come on, give him a good throw, give him a good throw. There's a lot of pressure, expectations that you're going to perform underneath the Friday Night Live. Get your drop, get your feet together. Just put yourself in the moment like you're in the actual game. Back, 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 boom, step through. Everything centers around our quarterback. That's the way we've built it around here. Good news, bad news, Nolan. Bad news. Lights are out. It's going to make you really focus. I'm scared to death, but I can't show it. Boys, you know what it takes to be a great quarterback? Working harder than everybody else. Next man up is in full spotlight. Dad takes me today. No worry that you won't tell me exactly the truth that if you're feeling good or not good. Grabbed my pads and helmet and walked out of the locker room. I just said, I'm gonna tell him he's not gonna take his pads if they're worried about that. Coach Kelly is like, no, 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 go put those back up. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Uh, maybe. It hit me kind of hard, actually. Let it sink in that I wasn't gonna be playing. Run up or run with me. Yeah. Boy, so come get me. Yeah. My window's down and I'm doing a buck fifty. Get on the bus, bug it under the bus, run up a run. Run up a run, get it ain't hard to find some boys to come get me. Get my windows tan and I'm doing a bug fifty. Get on the bus, or get under the bus, run up a run. Alright, Wilson, what we finna go do? Uh, we're gonna get fried chips tonight. Yes, sir. We need to look sharp today. We got the weather against us. It's raining, slippery out here. It's all that kind of crap. If it's the day before a game, you are practicing. All right, we're going to start down here. Seven on seven coming this way, lineman down that end. Let's go. Am I the only one that didn't even think to bring a rain jacket, I guess? Coach Kelly decides to take the over shirt and just walk around in the towel. No, I mean, I've got a shirt. I just want it to get dry. I mean, he probably doesn't want to show up, but there's definitely a little kid in him. Typical Coach Kelly stuff. Not surprised by that at all. Come on, Nolan. That's about 10 minutes too late. Please don't start this crap right now. Run the play again and do it right. See, they're lost without you. 
I'm not. I'm, I'm just saying. You know they are too. You're just like, what the freak's going on? This is the first time I'm missing a high school game. Tough to sit out. Coach told me to try to coach the guys up as best you can, instill confidence in them for this big game. I just run up the middle of the play. How about that? You want to do that, right, Nolan? I've yet to miss any games in my varsity career. It doesn't feel good at all that I'm not going to be able to go up there and fight with my team. This is another game that I could have put film out for college coaches, but I don't want to rush back because I want to be healthy for the team. Missing a couple throws, Coach Kelly really gets on to me. You cannot throw the ball to the other team. Is that abundantly crystal clear? Do not throw the ball to the other team. He's relentless on them, even with the slippery and wet ball. That's too late. Throw the freaking ball. It's all much faster, and there's a lot more pressure on me. Quarterback, you did some really bonehead things. We can't do the really bonehead things. You're going to play some tomorrow. You're going to be ready to go. When I say some, I mean like you're going to play the whole time. Coach Kelly had a lot higher expectations. The pressure pays off when you get out there on Friday nights underneath the lights. Hey, Bruce on three. One, two, three. Bruce. Yes, sir. The road trips are definitely very fun. Hanging out, being away from school. Hey, you know what we're doing. Hold up. Turn me up. That boy iced out. Chill out, hug. Hey, what you guys say? Starting QB. How you feel about tomorrow, man? You ready for it? Oh, yeah. Back again, off a loss. I've told y'all in the history of PA, we've been really good and we've lost a game. We are in a foreign land and we're playing a team that's really good with a story history. They're not going to lay down easy. The last thing I ever want to hear is, well, we would have had a better chance if we had our quarterback. A freak, one guy makes a team, it does it. You don't know I love the kid, but it's next man up. If I kill over dead tomorrow, it's next man up. Coach Kelly says that me and Pfizer would kind of rotate throughout the game. I think Charlie and Nolan are both ready for this game. T-motion left, 50, stop and right. Make it read. Coach sends me out there. He calls easy plays. I've never felt those types of emotions before. Like, I noticed both of my hands are shaking. In the shotgun, that's Nolan Bruffett. And I get the completion, and I'm like, OK, I got that under my belt. What's next? This is our very first fourth down. I'm just saying, I got to get the ball out quick. And it's caught by Mason Cobb. And he's running down the sideline. And just a sort of relief comes over me. I just did a quick pitch to Joe. The O line was blocking great. And he made a man miss and got it in. So it's my turn to kick. And we left the tea bag in the locker room. We're the stupidest team. We're the dumbest team. Who leaves the teas in the bag in the locker room? Freaking stupid. What, are you, what do you want to do? We're doing copter, which means that we're not using a tee because the ball is on the ground. All right, we're going to copter it this way. Let's go get it. All right, let's go. Let's go boys. Brandon and Jaden are both out this game, and I feel like I have to step up. It looks like it might have been recovered by the Bruins. They say they have it. They're celebrating. They yes, did. they did. I'm proud because we lost the tee. Puts us in a situation that we wouldn't you'd normally be in, and we'd get the kick. Hey, hey! Not, no stop, just regular. He's looking downfield, there's the pass, and it's complete. Beautifully placed pass by uh, it there. So that's Charlie Pfizer out there right now. And I'm like, all right, this is my moment. I'm a little nervous, and I'm also very excited. Switch with the Y! Get on the Y, Charlie! Right when I call for the snap, all the nervousness goes away, and I'm just playing football. Complete to Mason Cobb, touchdown Bruins. I'm like, oh my gosh, it was my first varsity touchdown. I was really excited. Charlie and Nolan, they're looking like they've been out there before. Nice job getting it to him, Charlie. In the past weeks, we've been in this situation, right? Yes, sir. And we haven't made the play. We've been close. We're making the play this week, tonight. We'd give up a ton of points against Springdale Harbor. We'd give up a ton of points against Ravenwood. They know they've got to be different. Take some of that pressure off Charlie and Nolan. Down the left side, and he gets hit. Brought down, sacked in the backfield. That defense is playing great, keeping them out of the end zone. Let's go pro set right, 50, stick, a saint. If you like the saint side better, use it. If not, stick. So here's another fourth down conversion attempt. Rough it, there's the snap. Looking to the left side, it's complete. Stop short of the fourth down. We got four guys rushing and one guy free on four. Do what you say you're going to do. Did you call it and then not do it? If you make the call, do the call. 
Jiren Rattler. Then he handed off to number four, Jalen Abraham, who bobbled it, and the Bruins take possession. I'm seeing a different group right then than I've seen the past two weeks. Hey, nice job, nice job, freaking nice job. I take the snap and I just panic. He's looking to pass, there's the pass, except it's intercepted. Coach Kelly's already yelling at me before I'm off the field. What did you see to make you think don't throw it to him? The car is not even the rage! We have him on the ropes and you're giving him the freaking ball? Are you freaking kidding me? Braden comes up to me after the interception. It isn't easy watching from the sidelines. Missed an opportunity to have a big game. But then the other part of me, showing the guys another way that you can play a role. He says, you're going to be fine, pick it up, and I'm just go show them what you can do. Things aren't always going to go your way, so I'm trying to make the most of the situation I was in. This is a huge series. We've got the momentum. Don't let them have it back. Trent, you got to help us. Understand? Let's go. I'm over the top of him with the single receiver man. The quarterback gets it. He's staring down that receiver. So I'm jumping a little quickly, and I'm able to pick, make that interception. It's intercepted by Trent Sawyer. It is Trent Sawyer. And he picked it off right at the 20-yard line. That's a heck of a job. That's a heck of a job, son. We're in a tight game now. We need something. I thought this is it. Coach Kelly calls this play, and I remember we worked on this on Wednesday night. Don't move the arm forward. He just wants us to use our shoulders. I know I'm going to Cooper. I take the snap, pump fake. Bruins touchdown. touchdown. That was a well-placed pass. I was like, if I can make that throw, I feel really confident now. I'm letting y'all get out of here. Y'all gonna give it what you got? Go freaking get the ball over here. I'm lined up to kick NBA. I fake it, and Clay kicked it. The Bruins picked up their second onside kick of the game. They're just about ready to call quit. Big picture. We're gonna need Charlie at some point. This is a moment where Charlie has to show me his toughness and how to be resilient. I do not feel as confident in myself. I know not to make another mistake again. He had shown me all week, so I put him right back in the game. He throws it to Hyman over the middle, who has some running room. And Charlie's in the pocket. He knows he doesn't have very much time. Pocket collapsed. I decided to scramble out. Throw it! Touchdown, Bruins! From then on, I was like, we got this. He responds by leading us down for the touchdown on that last drive. Charlie, that's a nice. That's what you got to be able to do. Line up in the face of adversity and do it again with me all over you. That's a heck of a job, sir. At that point, I know we're going to win the football game. And that is the game as the Bruins take it 46 to 23 here in Shreveport. Better than Bill. I don't know. Amazing. What I don't Just what you do is amazing. I'm telling nice you. Of you to say. It is that's, remarkable. That's it. We nice loved watching it, even though it was against us. No. <laughs> I was just amazed at how everyone stepped up. Everyone came together. We we played as a team. We played our hearts out, and I think that's what won us the game. And it's definitely good to see us play as a team and other people step up and other people go down. I couldn't be more proud of a football team right now. I really couldn't. The way Braden Bratcher has played with national records, and he's got to have great players around him, but for Charlie Pfizer and Nolan Bruffett to step up in that game, good <laughs> job. Braden and Jaden, look who we're playing good without. How do y'all like that? It's a classic joke. I mean, I felt that coming at some point. Just got to do the best we can with what we got. That's the wrong answer. Great. Great. I didn't hear you say that before. I thought what? Y'all don't listen. We were hopping on the bus in our parents' cars, and the coaches flew home. You know, they're just chilling in a private plane. We were really blessed this year. We got a dad with a plane. He flew to the game. He's letting us fly back with him. And I wish we could have had a private plane. I gotta get back for film. We fly home so we can get home earlier and start on our film and get ready for the next one. So you point it to your right there, and then you put it right where that hole is. Perfect. I'd kick it right here. Okay. It pops right over the line, and we can just jump and catch it. Allie is interested in adding football onto your sport. Oh, that went far up there. That was very good. When I figured out that Savannah was a kicker for the PA team, 
that kind of inspired me to be a kicker. About last year was when I really started thinking about it and figuring it out. Well, I would never see myself as an inspiration. It's a pretty big compliment. It just feels weird for anyone to follow in my footsteps. See, it's still fun. That's really good. A lot of pressure to be a girl on the football team. Some of the pressure that's placed on Division I football players almost feels like it's placed on me. So I think that she could definitely be an inspiration for other little girls. For her, I would say you have to understand that you are in a situation that is regular. Do you ever kick it just in the middle of the football? Mm hmm Okay. That's called jelly roll. Yeah, that's what I like. Not everything that everyone says to you applies to you. You do different things at a different time than the boys, or you wear something different than the boys. I'm sure she could be the next Savannah Goodwin. Every Monday after the game, we watch film in the weight room. Hope y'all had a good weekend. We got a good two weeks ahead of us. Great win. I can't get over it. Evangel. Uh, how good a win that was. Trace, when you do this, you deserve to get your name written somewhere. We see this play, and Trace just has this big block. Get a lightning bolt. You struck him. Boom! Hold on. Hold it. Watch this part. Shove him down, but here's the best. That's not even the best. Jump on him. Get you some. Go get you some, Trace. That's fantastic, Trace. I know you're all dying to beat Little Rock Christian, and we're going to use some of that starting tomorrow. A little revenge. A little make sure they know who's still in charge here. It's our crosstown rival. They've beaten us for the second time ever in that state championship game. They do get to say all what they want to say right now because they did beat us last. That's all fine and good. Coming off a loss in state championship from them last year, you have to have laser focus. This is the week. Everybody's got to step it up. Coaches, players, everybody. We play Little Art Christian. So I've been looking forward to for a while. How your leg? That was good. Maybe second up for one game? Yes, sir. The hamstring's definitely a lot better. I'd say I'm pretty much almost 100% pushed through the pain with the big game versus Little Art Christian. Uh, try to get off the line on me. Try. I want you to really try. He wants to beat them so bad more than anyone on the team. I've got it designed for a purpose. I've spent 5,000 million hours on this game plan. I at least want to freaking try to run it. Coach is introducing a lot of stuff to us in practice. Lex, pistol, F500 block and arrow. Can we not do that? I've got three full pages of notes that I want to implement on offense. Then I get to Wednesday and I think I've put too much in. Crazy motion, right? Definitely a lot to consume in a short amount of time. All right, it's a lot of stuff. You're either going to be able to do it or you ain't going to be able to do it. And I need to yank it all out. Right. Okay. God help me. Joe, go get one. Some of you guys got to get some crap together. Braden, me and you can't be wrong. And the bottom line is this, if we do the things that we know we're capable of doing, we'll win. If you're not focused and you don't play smart football, we're gonna get our butt kicked. And it's gonna be embarrassing. There's a lot going into this. It's gonna be interesting to see how it turns out. It's the night before the Dark Christian game, going to get positive with some of the seniors. Felt it was needed get them together and make sure we're all on the same page and have a clear mind for the game tomorrow. We had to change a lot of things now because of the way their defensive line yeah. is. It's a good and a bad thing because we have to put in yeah. so much stuff. We all have to be on the same page. If we can execute it, while we're running against that front, yeah. it just picks it apart. On defense, we put a whole new system in the guard. It's a stud receiver. We kind of just man him up and press him. If he does beat us off the line, we have a safety over the top. Oh, that's better. Yeah, mm -hmm. We've seen yeah, a like way, way, way better. Last year, I went to Little Art Christian Prom, and we walk in the house, and we look up LaDadge playing the state game on the TV. And they knew we were coming, and they're like, hey, everyone look up at the game. Like, look what game is on. It was just so unclassy. Beat them out there close. Oh, it's going to be a great feeling. Morning of the game, a lot of us walk into school, and we have a big old bear statue sitting outside of our school. And there's a Little Art Christian t-shirt on it with Warriors written on it. A little spank talk before the game. Oh, they do stuff like this. We let them put that on our statue because we lost to them. We had it coming. Riled us up and gave us a little extra fuel before the game. Okay, now I have an idea. He 
gets the t-shirt that they previously put on our mascot and he goes out to the middle of the court. They came over last night and they put something on something that means a lot of pride and is precious to us. Something that we love at our stadium. Coach Kelly comes out, gives a huge speech at the pep rally. And this is what's going to happen. And just rips it in half, everyone's going crazy. The crowd just went crazy, going bazonkers. We just can't wait for a big night ahead. Hey, Bruins up three, one, two, three, bro! The biggest game at Arkansas High School football tonight. Playing the game through my head, how it can go. There's a lot of revenge on my mind the biggest game because we lost to him last time. This is Little Rock Christian. As you know, we've been a little bit anticipating this game since we last played them. I would chop off my pinky finger right now to go play one play. Just one. Just give me one play. But you guys get to. Don't take that for granted. They think that since they beat us once that they're on our level. It ain't about winning tonight. I've said that all week and I mean it. It's about how bad can we freaking beat them. We gotta dominate them to regain our power over them. This is just another game of gladiators with the crowds watching, and you get to participate, and I hope you're jacked about it. Oh, y'all got a good kicker. Nerves are running, but we're very confident in our game plan. First three, First three let's go. First series of the game. We want to come out and not even make it close. Rogers waiting for the snap. There it is. Fakes the handoff to Joe. Deep pass play and throwing it to Andrew Cobb. He makes a great catch. Touchdown! Yeah! So the section's going crazy and we're feeling good. Way to catch a football, son! Last time was so disappointing. It's a time that you can step up. Your kick. A great NBA. I feel like this is the game where I can show up more than I did last game. Watch me! I might go right! I feel like I almost belong. Been a good one. Oh, she's gonna fake it. Trying to check the other team. It did not work. I'm not used to seeing Clay James kicking onside kick. Terrible. Gilmore's in the shotgun. He's under pressure, but he managed to free a lot of it, and he is in the end zone for a touchdown. They go down and score. We get the ball back. Pass is out there. Did he catch it? No. It's fourth down. There's the snap to Bratcher. He's scrambling out of the pocket. Roll out. Try to run. Throw it! Right in. And comes short of the fourth down. It's fourth down, Braden. We have to throw the ball on fourth down. I need Braden to not be afraid to be tough, especially on fourth down. Definitely tough whenever we don't get the fourth down, but we know our defense is going to have our back. The defense gets an interception. Good job, D! We get the ball back, end up in fourth and three. Come on. I shift over to the left, buying time. Got lots of time. There's the pass. He's going deep. And we turn over on downs. It's fourth and three, and you're not pressured right there. Do you think you should throw a 50-yard bomb? Now we miss the second fourth down. Change your thinking on fourth down. Whenever Braden is struggling, it's hard for the rest of the offense because we rely on him so much. Very packed game. The college scouts there to watch a good game. Motivating me on the inside to go back out there and make plays. Looking to pass. There's the right side. Passes out there. Oh, and it's picked off by the Bruins. That was number nine, Trent Sawyer. The defense is making plays and keeping us in it. Hey, Brayden! There's the snap. Buy a little time, scramble up, and throw it to Andrew. He's got a man down there. Can he connect? He makes a great, great catch. We got to have other guys step up and make plays. Let's go. go get it. Let's put it in. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's a direct snap to me, and I'm running. Bradtree looks like he's going to keep it. And I'll punch it in. Touchdown, Bruin. Touchdown, Bruin. Let's go get the ball and chase the game. We struggle early with the onside kicks. There's the snap, he's looking to pass. There's the pass, and it goes sailing. They get in a fourth down early. It is fourth and 10. There's the snap, he's looking to pass. There's the pass. They throw a long pass for number five. Chris Hightower. Touchdown for the Warriors, Chris Hightower. Same thing in the state championship game last year in a long fourth down. We're right back to, oh no, the Chris Hightower show. I wanted to check the coverage, and you're not even looking at 
Jalen pulls it in. Finally get going on offense. Hey, Q motion from the back. Ratcher's in, Ratcher's in motion. Oh my, and that was Mason Cobb that took the snap directly. A Bruin touchdown. Corey Platt with the carry for a Warrior touchdown. It's a back and forth game at this point. There's the snap, little play action, and now a pass to Joe Hyman who is wide open on the left side of the field. The offense is able to move the ball now. We're kind of getting our groove. There's Bradshaw gets the snap. Braden gets some pressure. He rolls out to my side. I see Jaden and he makes a great catch. Get my feet in bounds, score a touchdown. That touchdown takes the lead. Play good defense, not scared. Don't play scared. Looking to the left side to pass. It's complete to Hightower. Your linebackers that aren't on anybody are doing us no good. Just freaking bring them. You got to stand back there the all day to throw. And y'all run Hoover one time. 56 seconds left in the half. Let's go, D! Touchdown for the Warriors. Defense gives up a touchdown right before half and not in tie game. Will you quit letting that guy run in front of you? They did it twice on that series. That's the first half. Coach is not happy about that. We head into the locker room, kind of pissed off. Is really, we've beat ourselves this first half. That is a freaking terrible half of football. Y'all feel like we're playing good? Anybody? Offense, you freaking happy? 26, 26, God! 26 freaking points. Two fourth downs you just gave them. Our effort isn't there, and we need to get on the same page. Where's Clay? How disappointing, son. Coach is giving Clay a hard time. Running slants on you. Despite whether you agree or not, you really have to fight even harder than you did. Those guys are giving more effort than us. That's embarrassing. When I tell you the single best thing should be about any football team when it's over with, that coach ought to tell me, your guys tried harder than mine. But right now, I've got to walk over there when this game's over and go, your guys tried harder. You better decide that you're going to go out and play a better ball game and do your job better than you've been doing. Every freaking one of you. Everybody understand that? Yes, sir. This is one of those half times that's going to set us up for later in the season because we're always getting ready for the end, not right now. If we go down, I want to go down bringing the freaking knocking the piss out of the guy. Because they're knocking the freak out of ours. Looking to pass to the left side. Will you quit letting that guy run in front of you? Caught by Bruins, Clay James. Good job, Clay! We get the ball back, feeling confident. End up in fourth and 15 on our own five. I know we're not going to punt it. I'm not surprised that we go for it. Certainly a very precarious situation for the Bruins here. That's Coach Kelly. He doesn't like to change up his philosophy. From their own five yard line. They get pressured from the right side a little bit, so I'll scramble out to the left. He's looking downfield. He is scrambling over the fingertips of number 10, Andrew Cobb. The Bruins turn it over. Wow. How far are you missing? We've well, been saying all week. Most people would think that that's the time that you would punt. You've messed up more times this game. You've messed up in the last freaking five. We get that fourth down. Momentum swings our way. And if we don't, they have a very easy way to score. You've got to get better. That can't happen. With our offense and the way it works, we can put points up very fast. Handoff goes to Woods. And touchdown, Bruin. We score, and I suggest cop for the coach. What do you want to kick? Cop kick, cop kick. I noticed they were very good at catching the ball. If we were to do a low ball, it might be harder. She's so shy, and she knows she's the only girl. That makes it even harder. She's saying it. She must really see something. All right, we're going to cop this way. Let's go. Go get the ball. Gosh, dang, one time. Bruins are ready to kick off. I go up, I kick Copter, it's a perfect kick. Nice little helicopter kick. I don't think they expect it. It spun really fast. Ruins have it! It just makes you feel like you belong. Now she's really at that moment apart. What the quiet? What the quiet? The biggest game in Arkansas football tonight. Scouts being there. Definitely important to play good in a big game. Hey, 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 hey! Coach Kelly changes the play to a go route for me, one-on-one -on -one with the corner. And I see Braden throw the ball up in the air, and I just go up for it, I catch it. And then the guy who was covering me kind of get in my face and stuff, and I kind of talk a little trash to him. Scouts being there definitely came up in my mind. Very big play that they like. We're going to go ace T. 
50 spider X bubble right. Inside the 15, about to go at 14. We're running the exact same play that I scored the touchdown on earlier. Fake the pitch and throw a bubble to Jaden. And then the phantom fumble happened. And it's a clearly pass forward and completion. That's an incomplete pass. One of the lower Christian players picks up the ball and starts running. The ref's just watching him run. I'm like, well, shoot, my only option is to go run after him. The referee was signaling incomplete. I think nothing of it because the ref blew the play dead. How do you have an incomplete pass picked up and run in for a touchdown? And they call it a touchdown. It said it was a fumble. Hey, Signaled incomplete! The other guy saw him call incomplete. The back judge saw it. We didn't have a whistle, coach. He, he called it. Yes, he did. We did not have a whistle. Well, I don't know if I've seen Coach Kelly that mad in my time. He knows he did this. Ask him to man up and ask him to tell the truth. You did this! You did this! Man up! Tie ball game again. Just go up 14 points and put them away, but they're back in the game. I just stay level-headed, couldn't get too emotional. We come back out, bring it back together, have one vision. We gotta go score. Hand off goes to Woods. And that's what we do. We drive it down and put the ball in the end zone. He got it. What did we just kick and get? Copter. All right, we're doing copter again. Great job last time. Come up with it again. Let's go. It's 47 to 40. This is a huge moment in the game. Vanna Goodwin is out there to kick the onside kick. The crowd's very into it. It's a little nerve wracking. Savannah does kick it. When I kick the copter again, they fumbled it just barely. And the ball is loose, and the Bruins are celebrating like they have it. All right, guys, we got it. Savannah, another great kick. Food is an animal. He's all over the field and gets another onside kick recovery. All these guys are just bouncing around like little kids. Savannah's come up big in moments that we've needed her. I see that the safeties are wide. He's looking to change up the play call. They ran a cover zero. We call a quick corner post. I know that he's the guy that can run that route. Jaden gets inside the guy. I see Braden throw it. He makes a great catch and runs it into the end zone. Touchdown! Yeah! And we go up 14 again. Feeling like, all right, we're about to win this game. The Bruin fans are up on their feet and cheering. There's the snap. He's looking to the right side. Little Rock Christian driving down. Passes out there deep. Trent Sawyer. Caleb makes a great play, tips it up, and I was able to catch it and secure the ball for us. Comes up with a great interception. It's intercepted after a bobble. Trent Sawyer. That's Trent Sawyer. We're up 14 in the fourth quarter. Trent just got a second interception of the game. We're feeling good. We really feel like we have the game in our hands. There's the snap to Bratcher. He's looking to pass. Lots of pressure. It's complete to Jalen Witcher. Start to drive it down on offense. and um... Raven! Raven! Coach Kelly calls a trick play. Laura Christian, they know us pretty well. Bruins set up quickly. Here's Bratcher. He has three on the left. Pfizer, Bruffett. Three quarterbacks out on the field, so they're kind of suspecting something. I send one of the quarterbacks in motion, hand it off to him, he throws it out to another quarterback, and he throws it back to me. Oh no, that was not good, it's intercepted. Chasing him down, didn't get to him until he's already in the end zone. He's in there for a touchdown. Could have gone up 21 points, now it's a seven point game. First of all, you're lined up too far out. It took 45 seconds for the ball to get out there, and 45 to get back across. You gotta have more intelligence than that. And you can't throw the freaking ball behind. The only way they have a chance is if we do this stupid stuff. I'm the coach who never punts, talking to you about why you don't need dip. Broom football is all about guts, resilience, and toughness. These are qualities that come from my players. Having enough guts to do something doesn't come from a can of dip. It comes from trusting your abilities. We have the ball back, still up by seven. First and ten. There's the snap, handoff goes to Kelly. All we have to do is protect the ball. Someone comes off and strips the ball from me. The ball is stripped loose. And they get the ball back on the 20 yard line. Two hands on the ball in traffic! Feeling helpless, I let the team down. Two hands! Hey, stay with them. If they break, you do not back into the end zone and let them cut in front of you. One play! That's all you freaking got. A lot of open space on that left side. Gilmore is scrambling. I'd make one pass to Chris Hightower and it's tied up. Just wow. Clay did all he could. That's just Chris being a better athlete. I'm frustrated, but gotta put that aside. A few minutes left in the game and we have to make plays. There's the pass. It's complete to Joe Hyman around the right side of the field. 
Joe's our starting running back, and he's a sophomore. In junior high, everyone's talking about the Joe Hyman. Like, oh, Joe can't be that good. He's better than I ever expected. It's like I'm getting more and more touches throughout the season. I feel like he trusts me enough to where he can give me the ball, and I can just go make something happen. He's the only one with any Division I offers. A guy that you can throw a ball to five yards out on the side, and it's an 80-yard touchdown pass. He's coming to work and doing his job, and it's never about him. Hyman's got some room on the right side. He comes out and just puts on a show for the crowd. He's in the end zone for a touchdown. Ruin! Drive it down, 11 play drive. We go up 61 to 54. An onside kick would end the game. At this point, I've gotten an onside kick against Ravenwood, Evangel Christian, and now we have two against Little Rock Christian. I want to put it on the senior, the one that I trust the most, okay? I'm a little disappointed. Um, All right, let's go. One time. Clay James is out there by himself. We don't get the onside kick. Two minutes and 43 seconds left on this clock. Little Rock Christian gets the ball back. And there's Gilmore's in the shotgun. He's looking to pass over the middle. He finds Givens for the touchdown. They go down on score, and they decide to go for two. You want to run Hoover, or do we want to go Slayer Blitz two? I like Slayer, I like Slayer two. It all comes down to one play. It's time to see what kind of character my defense has. I hate letting the players decide. They never decide right. The history of all football. I've never had one call it right. This could be the level. game. Gilmore's in the shotgun. He's got Givens to his right. Platts in motion across the middle. There's a snap. The quarterback rolls out, and I see Fuda running after him. So I come out free, and I'm chasing the quarterback, running as fast as I can. So I was like, Fuda's going to catch him, and then Fuda tackles him. Got him, got yeah, him, got, got him. him. And the Bruins hold on to the lead. We're up by one, and all we have to do is catch the onside kick. Brayden! You're going to be back by yourself on the 20. You've got to go field the ball wherever it goes. I trust you more than any human out here. Onside kick, we're going to see right here. Onside kick it. It's a very good kick. One of their guys runs past it and it hits their guy. But he touched it before 10 yards, so really it's our ball and a penalty on that. Oh, my gosh. Recovered. They're still down by one, but the ball is in their hands. On a blitz or something. Please. In a crucial time like that, I want to be out there. They're moving the ball up and down the field on us. Man to man on the second inside guy. If there's not, you're an outside linebacker in the block, in the box. Okay, just in the box. Yeah. Made the change to put him in at safety and let him try to help out on the defensive side of the ball. I think Coach put him out there because of his heart and his desire to go out there. Play clock and the game clock are even. Really, all I have to do is get in field goal range. That's Gilmore. Complete. He's got the first down. What's Clay doing? 11 seconds left in this game, and the Warriors are calling timeout. They get into field goal range, and we know that they have a great kicker. So, Foo, y'all do your thing on the right. Over there, watch for a fake. Yeah, you got it. You're going to go. They're going to go. Where do you go? Outside, outside. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then you go between the up back and the other guy, and you're going to go. I want you to run right off the inside of his guy. He's getting ready to kick field goal. We're going to have to get a block or something. The kicker's really good. just as bad as losing them in state, honestly. We just wanted some revenge, and not getting that done, it's really a sickening feeling. Hey, five! Heck of a game, my man, sir. You're the man. I'm mad at myself. The fumble overshadows everything else, because that was a contributing factor to us losing the game. Bad feeling, right? Remember the feeling. Never again. We want to play them again. We want to have one more shot. We go to my house to watch film while it's fresh on our mind. Fourth and 15. Everybody else would have punted. I thought I had a good play call. 
They weren't blitzing on fourth and long, so I thought we'd have time to run it, and we did. I'm questioning. We didn't make fourth downs. Is this the way to keep going? Yeah. Back Looks over at this line, line judge guy. Cool. Points at him. No line judge guy called it a fumble. I was really proud of our guys after the missed call that they were able to come back, and then, you know, I botched it at the end. We dominated them every way you could dominate. I don't really want to play them again. That could be the playoffs. Set, go, full speed, there you go. That's what we're talking about. Nice, Fuda, good job. Fuda Shinkawa is an animal all over the field. Fuda Shinkawa caught him from behind. I was born in Japan and I moved to America when I was three years old. I'm 5'8", 155. I play outside linebacker. I was all-state linebacker last year. Come on, more intense! And I just fly around the field. One of the very few all-state sophomores I've had. His story is so unique, coming from Japan to Michigan to little bitty Arkansas. Show it, Fuda! I hadn't played football at all, let alone know what it was until I came to Little Rock. My eighth grade year, Coach Lucas came up to me and invited me to one of the practices. That started it all. People say I'm undersized, but Fuda, he's a linebacker. Picking up a new game that he had no idea about and now dominating where you leave the field, I'll guarantee you, you have noticed Fuda Shinkawa. I'm amazed at how good y'all can be, but I'm also amazed at how bad we can be. And we showed it at times Friday night. But we can't be that team. Y'all got to reassess and figure out how to get there. You lose one more game, we might not be in the playoffs. Guts, toughness, and resilience. Those are the most important qualities I stress to my players. And those are the qualities you don't find in a can of dip. They come from within you. It was a very tough loss, sickening loss. But you got to move on. Go! Oh, it's the old knockdown, got to get up thing, but man, that was a big knockdown. You gotta go on this side. You can't be stuck on it because that's not our goal. Behind, everything's behind, Braden. Our goal is to go win a state championship. If we can block for more than a second, we can score some points. How should we fix that play right there? How can we fix it? Then keep it out right. This week of practice, you can see some guys are still stuck on the loss. Fight back and get it, Jaden. I wish once you'd use all that athleticism and fight and fight and fight. Coach is going harder on us than usual. I'm just sick of watching our secondary halfway do stuff, and then in the game we halfway do stuff, and that's where we are. What did I tell you to do? That's why you're not playing. I'm not even going to say it anymore. She's going to let y'all do it, and we can suck. All right, I quit. Let's go to something else. I know you're going to do it if you want, but I know you think the team can't take it. They can't take it. I tell coach, just keep pushing me as hard as you want. We can still win a championship, but it's only if me and you are perfect. But I think some other players may not need that. Braden comes to me and he's worried about the way the kids are responding after the loss. And I'm worried to death about Jaden because he had that fumble. I don't know what he's thinking internally because he doesn't show it very much. For me, the season's been going all right. There have been kind of little hiccups with me and Coach Kelly. You ain't going to stand down here and use it as rest time. Jaden's not starting the game. I'm just ready to not even play yet. Look, immediately we'll throw it before you get to anybody. I'm not really one to show a lot of emotion. Not only does like Coach Kelly angry with me with that, but that happens in my home life too. Difficult for people to know that I'm actually putting forth a lot of effort and I care a lot. <laughs> So far this season, I've received an offer from Western Illinois University. A few other colleges have been contacting me, but that's the only offer so far. Definitely disappointed. I've only played football. My whole life's just been football. That's the thing that kind of scares me. Devastating loss to Little Rock Christian, but I'm kind of excited to see how we rebound, and we're definitely going to have to keep getting better if we want to reach our goal, which is win a state championship. We have some pretty easy challenges coming up. We feel like we can go on a streak to get us on the right track and on this redemption tour that we have. To fight back and play extremely well is a nice signal for a coach to see. We come out and beat my mail and we're feeling good about ourselves. Hello? What? I'm like a couple minutes away. Alright, you're gonna lose, dude. I don't miss all right, whatever you say, dude.
go into Graham's house, he's got this pretty nice game room. We in the game room. And I'm not really a public type person. I'm kind of different with like friends. Jaden Kelly is one of my best friends. The offers for Jaden just aren't rolling in. Yeah, dude! Like everybody thought they would. Having like 2,000 all purpose yards last year, I just know what he's capable of. Come back, man. Come back, see you, Dad. I make a bet with Jalen McKinney that whoever loses has to jump into the pool. Do it. You better not. I told you. Don't do it to yourself. Uh, oh, oh my God. What the? <laughs> no. I kind of just like choke and end up losing. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely kind of rubbing it in my face that I have to jump in the cold pool. All right, I guess I'll jump in the pool, dude. Later in the season, so the pool's not gonna be warm. It's gonna be cold. I touched him and I was frozen. <laughs> I could no. That's really cold. Let's go, Jaden. <laughs> You only live once, you know, we like to have a good time. I'm going to score today. That's my goal. Yeah. I think Grandma score. He just got to follow me. Oh, dude. The senior play is a play that any non-offensive skill positions, they get a chance to run whatever play they want. Do you have any advice for me score a touchdown today? You got to be able to reach your blocks well. If Caleb Box say you go out, Caleb, yeah. I got you. If Caleb runs full speed, you know. <laughs> he does be kind of running slow just because he's lazy. Uh, Caleb doesn't run full speed for me, though. Graham's kind of like the funny guy, makes the bad situations good. Oh, yeah, it's going to happen. I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty confident. And I feel like if it's me one-on-one -on -one with somebody, it's an automatic touchdown. Every team needs a Graham. Cooper White, touchdown Bruin. Connell intercepts it, and he's going to take it all the way. Joe Hyman, there he goes. He makes that defender miss. Touchdown, Joe Hyman. All right, Graham's play. I definitely think Graham has a pretty good chance to score. So I know it's my chance. I wave the coach. He calls it. Graham Shear takes the handoff. He's in unfamiliar territory now. He bulldozes his way across the line for a touchdown. Oh, my gosh. I just start going crazy on the sideline. Easy, boys. Nice shot, Graham. At all. I'm super excited for him. The guys are going crazy on the sidelines. The PA Bruins are back on track, winning 67 to 7. I don't make crap up to tell y'all stuff. We keep making the same mistakes when I tell my quarterback to throw it in the dirt on a screen, he doesn't. And then I look back and see how that's hurt us in other games. Last year in the state game, we ran a screen play and I didn't throw it in the dirt and ended up getting picked off and they ran it for a touchdown. Friday night, I call a screen pass and Braden makes a big mistake. We ran a screen pass and wasn't there and his number one rule was throw it in the dirt if the screen pass is not there. And uh, I did not do that. The whole time I was running, I was like, I know what's coming. Charlie is my favorite quarterback right now. Uh, Charlie is my favorite quarterback. Yeah, did you know that already? Not, but they became it tonight. And I want an answer in front of everybody, Braden. Do you have a rule if the screen is covered and it's not there, throw it at the ground? Have I given you that rule? Throw it at the ground. So when you decided not going to do it, what is that saying about my rule? That's not right. That my rule's not right. Even though the crowd's going crazy, the other coaches are going crazy, he's going to stick to what he believes. It all goes back to the same thing, and that is this. Simple question, do you want to win? It was a moment that I felt like I had to make my mark on him where that doesn't happen again anywhere in this season. That's why I said you're not making pre-snap reads and all that other crap. You're just lining up and running the play Braden style. Whatever the freak happens, happens. Not me, Charlie, go. See, here's what I decided. Good. Here's what I decided. We're not going to win a state championship making the mistakes we've been making. So if we're not going to, I'm going to keep going until we get a guy that'll do it my way. If there was a 99% chance if you drove across the river bridge that the bridge was going to crack and you were going to plummet into the river, how many of you are dumb enough to take the 1% and drive across the bridge right now? There's a 99% chance that we're not gonna win a state championship if I can't get certain people on the team to do the golden rules that I have for certain positions. 
I think it's more important to play a player that's going to try their best to do exactly what I ask more than it is a one that has talent. It's tough for me. I try to talk to him after practice. I just want to talk about I'm frustrated. I was about to throw it and I didn't because I, I, in my peripheral vision, I just saw no one was coming from the backside. In that moment, I was like, I'll make a play out of this instead of throwing it in the door. But that's what gets going to get us beat. That's why we're not going to win. So fed up on the inside and, and really kind of pissed off. If I had to pick one guy, who am I picking? You deserve it, okay? Unfortunately, you're in that position where you got to be the guy that goes through the, the trough of times, too. Just playing quarterback for Coach Kelly, there's a lot that comes with it. What's being thrown at me right now is part of it. If I was on fire right now, would you even try to put it out or just let it burn? <laughs>
I call my brother and his good friend Wesley. They both played here and they've been through all this before. I was just calling because I don't know what to do college. I've gone through phases where, yes, I, I want to play college football, and then I'm like, eh, nah, that didn't really sound that appealing. Coach Lashley at SMU, he told me to come down and like see what it's like down at SMU. It's like a job. That's all I hear about. It's, it's a job. You got to really love it. I mean, I love I love like playing high school football, but I don't feel like it'd be the same. I don't think your uh, quarterback coach at SMU would be like Coach Kelly, but you just never know what you're getting yourself into. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> playing football is something you'll never get to do again, so. If, if you end up hating it, it's only a couple months that you're suffering through if you look at it in the big scheme. And then you decide what you want to do from there. If the opportunity did arise to play at the next level, I should take advantage of it and at least try it out, give it a shot, and see what happens. All right, well, thanks for talking. I'll see y'all. This week, we're playing Parkview at War Memorial Stadium. The last time we were there, we lost their state championship game. Parkview, their team is very athletic, and they've got a lot of Division One players. It's going to be a little bit of a war. They've lost a couple games by seven points. So their season now is made by beating us. So you're going to get their best. You need to go out there and be freaking focused and be ready. And you know they're going to come out and they're going to be going 100 miles an hour. You keep playing the game, playing smart, doing what you're supposed to do. And know your job every time before the ball snaps. Let's play our best football the last six weeks. Have they got that? Yes, sir. They have D1 talent. They can put it all together. They're a very tough team. That's the way I like to roll. Joe Hyman's back to receive. And he has it. He kicked me the ball, and I had to make one cut. He dodged a couple of tackles. He's at the 40. As soon as I made that one cut, I didn't see anybody in front of me, so I knew I could score. Touchdown, Bruin. Every Friday night, he has that one wild play. At least one of them. No more freaking nice guy with you two. Kick a freaking good ball every dang time. It's hard to kick in the rain. Who's going to kick one? Kick it good. I've got no room for screwing off and not having a chance. You understand? None. It could slip. It could slide. It could turn out the complete opposite of what you want it to. Here is Savannah Goodwin. Kick jelly roll, and it's really hard for my foot to get contact on the ball because it's so slippery. It does not go 10 yards. You have to give us a chance, Savannah. We've got to have a freaking chance. Coach hates it when I don't kick the ball 10 yards. When you're standing on the sideline, it doesn't feel good when you didn't do as well as you could. There's the snap. Rogers is looking on the right. He has a man wide open, and he waltzes into the end zone. Demetrius Feemster. Gosh, freak. Brayton takes the snap. Mason gets under the defender. He catches it and runs it. He gets down inside of the 10. Mason Cobb drags three defenders in for a Bruin touchdown. I need my freaking kickers to do their job. Will you do it? Yes, sir. Go kick it and get the ball. Coach decides to go with Vaughn after I mess up. Savannah, all the moping around don't you get you good. It's hard not to be out there. There's the kick by Selig, but it recovered by the Patriots. That's what I told you all week. We don't kick it to the third freaking guy. You are scared and you're terrible. Our kicks, they aren't happening right now. If any of y'all had the whole practice just to kick, I bet y'all would all be fantastic. Onside kicking, it's not easy. -E Patriots are looking at third and one to go. The Parkview quarterback, bigger guy, he's athletic, he's a great quarterback. I feel like there was kind of a quarterback competition there. What a fake and what a throw from Landon Rogers. You see why big time schools are interested in this kid. But I'm playing too. Let's go ace S Raptor right. Bratcher takes the snap. As a smaller guy, I got a lot more to prove. Bratcher will just not go down. Definitely challenges gripping the ball in the rain. Come on, Braden! Throw him a good freaking ball! Ball slippery, He's got to really focus in. Bratcher rolling out to the left side, passes out there, and it's caught. All things are rolling despite the rain. He's got a man in the corner, and he brings it down. Touchdown, Bruins! What a throw from Bratcher. What did you do? Did you quit yet? You're not going to quit, are you? No, I'm not thinking about quitting. Go get the ball. She'll give us a chance this time. I kicked the ball too hard. Didn't quite have the type of spin that it normally does. Feels so flustered. Don't cry. That doesn't do any good. You've got to hit the top half of the ball. 
pressure building up in your head and you're just flustered and angry with yourself. But there are definitely people out there who think that girls should never play football. I feel like I need to go back out there and prove myself every single game. It's kind of hard being on a football team with a bunch of guys who don't really understand it. Hey, let's go! Hey! Rogers got plenty of running room up the middle. It's a back and forth game at this point. Parkview is running the football and they're making a lot of plays. He is in the end zone for a touchdown. And we go into halftime and we're up by four. Coach Kelly is not happy at halftime. It's the little things that cost us. Everybody's trying to do everybody else's job. You have to do your job. You have to know your job. We have to be better. We have to be perfect. It's that simple. Tears into the kickers. Where are our kickers? Freak. I mean, freak. He's just chewing people out. We might as well just march it off and give them the freaking ball on the 50 every time. Sometimes on his jackets. You sign up, it's do your freaking job. Raise your hand if you knew what you signed up for when you walked into Bruin football. Do more, be more. We've already lost to Christian in the conference, so you lose to Parkview, you're maybe out of the playoffs. It's time to see what this team is made of. Their toughness and grit will be put to the test. Will you kick your copter? Can you kick it well? It's the perfect side, right? Kick a good kick, go get the ball. Coming out of halftime, pressure button up in your head. After struggling in the first half, here comes Savannah Goodwin with the kick. Here comes Savannah Goodwin with the kick. It is recovered by the Bruin. There you go, Coop! Perfect kick. Savannah, that's a way to kick the ball. If you're going to be upset, be happy when you do good. That was good. Nice job. Usually after a kick, I can't hold back a smile. But this kick, I'm kind of drained. Relieved, angry that it didn't happen sooner. It all just cancel each other out. I feel like she responds well, and she's really starting to prove herself at this point. We got that onside kick, and that's when we start to play it together as a team. Braden takes the snap. Joe breaks off a huge run. And there's Joe Hyman with his second touchdown of the game. He comes out and just puts on a show for the crowd. Joe Hyman goes down and scores, and I get another shot. Are you going to be OK? Do you hate me now more than you already did? Huh? Because I promise I love you, and I'll kill anybody that tries to hurt you. Kitch Kelly is definitely one of tough love. Go kick another cop, but that was perfect. Right, you oh, like when Braden's playing quarterback and we snap the ball, everybody's looking at 22 guys running around. She's the lone center of attention. Savannah kicks it. And the Bruins recover another one. That's two in a row. There you go, Coop. There you go, Coop. Comes out and does that. It cements the fact that I am one of you. And our team desperately needed that moment. Once you get those onside kicks, momentum swings your way like no other. Fourth and five, we're running one of our go-to plays. It hits Cooper White in the head. Mason Cobb just happens to see it up in the air and runs it in for a touchdown. Everything is working at this point. Hey, a huge play right here. Know where the first down is. We're not just bailing out. You got it, get out there and make a play. One freaking play, let's go. Rogers back to pass. He's looking for the long ball. Oh, and it's intercepted by Clay James. Clay gets the interception and the defense is stepping it up. Nice job, Clay. I think we could do it out of Rick or Lex to the single receiver side. Because that's when they're walking a guy up outside. We both kind of saw it in the game, how they were playing it. This looks good. Hope I don't jinx it. I fake the toss on like a read option and take off running. With the way the offense is looking at times, there's no better feeling. Brayden Bratcher with another long run. Touchdown Bruins! Yes. Rogers takes the step and he breaks free. Their quarterback breaks a long run. He's faster than most of our guys. And we talk about relentless pursuit. You talk about never giving up on a play. And the ball's loose, and the Bruins have it. Clay James again. Coming out of halftime, if you're them, you're like, we're down by four, but we're getting the ball. We've got 27 points. Four minutes later, it goes from 31 to 27 to 61 to 27, and they're wondering what the heck has happened. Nobody near him. Touchdown Bruins. Cooper. Yes, nice job. Yes, That's what you get when you get two onsides, you end up making great plays. So the Bruins will finish this one out, taking the game 68 to 34. 
Good job. Good luck the rest of the year. Putting up 37 points in one quarter, that sums up Bruin football. Defense making stops, we're getting onside kicks and going down and scoring, executing. I told you you were 30 points better than them, right? Now I didn't know it was in a quarter. That was one of the best quarters of football I've ever seen. That's what y'all are capable of. And our kickers, I got on y'all at halftime. Savannah, those were beautiful. You always told me, I mean, treat you like everybody else, right? And you came out and you did a great job. That was fun football. I feel like this is a turning point for us. Savannah, call it up. I feel like I'm 100% part of this team at this point. I just picked you to call it up. You gotta yell it out loud. Do you even know how to do it? Okay. Friends on three. One, two, three. Bruins! That was iffy. Guts, resilience, toughness. I'm the coach who never punts, and those are the characteristics I want in my players. None of those come from using smokeless tobacco. They come from you. I don't really know, to be honest, what's going on with the game plan. I wasn't too active in part of the game. I'm not really too worried. So, Jaden, what's going on with colleges, dude? Not too hot right now because it's during the season. Like, we're in the season there in their season. Memphis has been texting, Arkansas State. I've been talking to, like, a few people, but like worse than like girl. One second I'm in love with you, the next second like I hate you, man. That's how they be. It's definitely not easy at all trying to deal with all this stuff. It was like silent for like a week, like weeks, months, and I'm like, what happened? I've been playing football since I was four. I don't want to stop playing football after the season is. 100% want to play college football. To be honest, Fooders should be getting offers. Nah, bro, I'm too short. I told you they were good. At halftime, it's 31-27. Well, this Monday session of film is definitely a lot better than the week before. Then in the third quarter, y'all came out and looked like the team that we know you can be, but instead of for a segment, we need it for all games. Definitely a big step, especially about to go into playoffs. Putting up 37 points in the third quarter, that's Bruin football. The next week, we take care of Watson Chapel easily. That one is picked off by Clay James. Jaden has a great game. We really need him to get back on track. I'm feeling good because I definitely made up for last week. And there's Jaden Kelly with his second touchdown of the game. Bruins take care of this one easily. One more game until the playoffs. The best offense in the country, arguably Oklahoma in college football. First play is efficient for the University of Oklahoma. That means halfway to the first down marker. That's five yards. They score 73% of the time. If Oklahoma, as good as they are on offense, don't make five yards on the first play of the drive, 36%. There's something to just the very first play starting off well. Oh! Cooper! Freaking first play, could you snap the ball? Just, how can you not just pitch him the ball? We're doing this for two reasons. One, I think it's good. Two, the other teams are now calling to get film on us. They'll spend 20 minutes a day in the playoffs getting ready for this crap. Coach Kelly looks at things so much different than other coaches, and he teaches us that way. Hit him in the chest. Don't make him jump. It's homecoming week, and, man, it's, it's our last regular season game. Good. We're coming together as a team and starting to get things going. I don't think he knows how gifted he is at it. Really, really gifted. And I've seen some good ones. Got one playing in the pros now. Jaden is the smartest guy on the field. He wants to get that D1 offer that he hasn't had yet. In the Parkview game, Vaughn didn't kick that well. They do an x-ray, and he's got a small fracture in his back. So he's out for the year. And now I'm a little worried about Savannah having to take all that pressure on herself. It means that I gotta step up and I gotta do things a lot differently and much more efficient. Better. I kind of end up by myself at this point. Get a little better every day and everybody's got to be ready at all times and it's next man to freak up. Do you guys believe that we can be state champions? Yes, sir. But do you know and you believe me when I tell you what it's going to take us to fix it, all that stuff? Yes, sir. As sophomores and juniors, you're watching all those seniors walk out with their parents and it's already here. My mom told me she was going to be crying, but I didn't believe her. And so we were walking out, and she was already crying. That stuff kind of hit. I told you I wanted to pretend this game was a playoff game, because this one does mean something. So tonight, you start playing like a champion. I mean, we bring it together, and we set the tone for the way the rest of this thing's going to go. And when you put your mind to it, 
Y'all have shown that you're the best football team in this state and that y'all can compete with anybody and dominate everybody. I'm excited to watch you seniors play your last regular season home game. I'm excited to watch you step in there and make some freaking plays tonight. Although I'm on them and although I'm push, 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 I absolutely love this identity of this group of seniors. Our final game before the playoffs. Last chance to see the kind of character my team has. Whitehall has actually been pretty respectable in their own right. They had a very good showing against Little Rock Christian a couple of weeks ago. This Here's the Bruins. They're ready to receive this kickoff. It's fielded by Joe Hyman himself. He just scrambles between a few of the defenders. Go, Joe. Hold on that ball. Now, there's no better way to start senior night than Joe Hyman returning the opening kickoff. Heck of a job, Joe. Heck of a job. Reality sets in and it by myself at this point. Slow NBA. Let's go get it. Make sure it goes 10. Kick it a good angle. Go get the football. Let's go. And she is going to get a nice hop. Oh, and I think he got it. And it looks like that. Yes, they did. Nice job. That's a great way to start us right there. The first play, Mason gets the ball and then he throws it long to Andrew. Comes down with it right at the six yard line. All four because trick plays are fun. Can we run trap middle? We can't even run trap middle. The offense scores immediately again. Not even two minutes down in the first quarter and the Bruins are up 16 to nothing. Way to go get the football. Great job. Nice job. The offense scores and we're up 16 nothing in no time. I like to go back to back on those things always. Let's do the same one again. Ah. Uh... We don't get this on side kick. Come on, come on, no wasted kicks. Buckner's running up the middle and he picks up about four yards. Nope, he is loose on the left side and he is off to the races. The defense gives up a long touchdown run. We got a tackle low, that's bull crap. They've all grabbed him up up freaking high. Kind of back in it, but Joe Hyman. Kick it somewhere else, kick it out of bounds, uh, and don't kick it to him again. That's something, isn't it? Yeah. The Bruins lead 24 to 7. 10 minutes and 8 seconds left in the first quarter, you heard me right. Returns two kickoffs in the first quarter for touchdown. And you're like, okay, this kid's a special player. Yeah. Seal team, she's kicking copter. Copter this way, that's been our best kick. Let's go get There's it again. Kick by Savannah Goodwin, it takes a spin. Like a superstar. Play two! They hit Andrew Cobb with a bomb. Touchdown, Bruins! Oh my goodness. 32 to 7, and we still have over nine minutes left in the first quarter. Couldn't ask for much better than that. We're definitely feeling confident about Savannah's kick. Hey, let's kick a copter again. I like back to back. Let's kick another great one. We'll have another chance. Go get it. Let's go. Bruins are going to take that one again. That's three onside kicks, and this is wild. That cemented her place and her confidence tremendously as we head into the playoffs. I've been a PA since sixth grade. It's kind of crazy that this will be my last regular season home game. All right, let's block and give them a chance right here. Let's go. Offensive line, they're kicking butt. We're just clicking. Putting up all these good numbers and stuff, but nobody still will like offer him. The numbers we're putting up, what I'm thinking is surely someone's going to come around. I'm just kind of waiting on it. Y'all got a chance to score more points in a quarter than anybody in PA history. That's kind of nice to have on your resume, you know what I'm saying? So let's keep going. So we might be able to get to 50. You think of that as video game numbers, but it's even harder to do in a video game. We got 50 in the first. We got our 50 in the first. Nice throw. That was a great catch by him. It wasn't really a great throw. Since of relief that, you know, it's senior night. Enjoy it. Fourth and 10. Oh, right off his fingertips. Come on, we had a chance to be perfect. You start going half butt effort because we're up a lot, and then we get in bad habits. We had a chance to be perfect. That's what you got to measure yourself against. Our final score here is 68 to 21. Good luck to y'all. Good luck in the playoffs, guys. Good luck in the playoffs. It's all getting put together at the right time. Going into playoffs, we're ready to go. Bratcher, you get the duties. Get up there right now and pretend that you were the head coach of the team. You've got a playoff game, so your goals aren't accomplished. And address our squad. Came off a huge win against Whitehall, heading to the playoffs. Uh, a lot, gotta fix a lot of little mistakes. Uh, just fix little mistakes, they go a long way. Um, be, be big deals in situations, uh, like we've seen. Try to lead the Coach Kelly speech. So just come out and practice and positive attitudes. And, uh, I don't think it went too well. 
Is that like the same stuff I say? It's not? What do I say? Huh? Oh. All right. I will get up there and address us. Maybe I won't get critiqued as poorly. Friday night was the most extraordinary first quarter I've ever seen. Most teams go a whole year without having a kickoff return. We had two in one quarter. Most teams go a whole year without getting two onside kicks. We had four in one quarter. Most teams don't score that many points in a game. We scored that many in a quarter. People are talking about that nationally. Here's the deal. In the playoffs, the teams are better that you're going to face. If you've got one arm and two legs, you've got three body parts at work, those three need to be working. If you've got four, those four need to be working. Now's not the time to slow it down. Now's the time to put the pedal to the metal. Next game could be my last. It's a lot of pressure because you don't want to not go in a game prepared and maybe take a playoff, which results in us losing. We're practicing no matter what. The rain definitely makes it hard. Slippery ball, it's harder to tackle or to catch the ball. It's definitely not convenient. I don't care if it's raining. It's playoff time and only the tough teams are outside preparing. Come on, Savannah. Really slick and it makes the practices really challenging. And when you've won as much as we have going into the postseason, you know that's what matters. First playoff game, we're playing Magnolia. They run the option. That offense presents a lot of unique problems for our defense. So our practice is very important this week. It's all about making those quick decisions. Good, right there. One step and he'll read you. The fumbles happen right there. Get there. Two before I check does not have your girdles on today. Raise your hand. Caleb Y. Everybody, get them moving. Yeah. Even in the playoffs, the downs don't stop. You don't win like that. It's about doing things right. Yeah. This game, if we win it, it marks Coach Kelly's 200th win. Everybody down. He's going to be the fastest one to hit 200 high school wins in the state of Arkansas. It would be the team to get him to reach the 200th win. That's something special. Couldn't be more proud to be a part of a program that we're able to commit and buy into the craziness that we do. And I'm just the guy that's sitting at the top of the heap and gets to feel what it's like to be a part of that. You're gonna learn to do things right before it helps us win and for your life lesson. You're tired and you're wet. And some of you are like Coach Kelly's man, he kept us out there in the rain, you know? It's a tough man sport, you know? Magnolia's practicing inside today, guaranteed in their indoor. But we ain't playing inside Friday. Get used to the freaking elements. It's playoff time. Let's knock the hell out of everybody that's in our way on the way to the championship. Hey, Bruce on three. One, two, three. Bruce. Come on, I need to do a different song. My fingers are like cold. It's just like a really finger plug heavy song. <laughs> I'm Matthew Hug. I'm 182 pounds and I played nose guard for a Pulaski Academy. Bring it on! Pretty small for a defensive lineman. No. Doesn't matter. He's one of those kids that you look at and like he should not be playing defensive line. You watch film and he's getting double teamed by 300 pound lineman, still fighting through and making the tackle. Matthew's really quiet. I do know the play. There you go. I'm a psychic. But out on the field, he's actually probably the noisiest person. Like, can you hear me right now? Probably. <laughs> Big Brother is watching. As a kid, I didn't really like sports. I was more into like art and stuff, but football was a good outlet. November 13th, 2009. Ten years ago. My brother and his friends were like riding a four-wheeler and an accident. My brother died. 
Matthew had to grow up with that, and he loved his brother, adored his brother. It's just kind of surreal for me. You know, it's really heartbreaking, and uh, it's just kind of crazy. You know, it changed our lives completely. PA football it was an outlet just because I can go out to practice and just like not care about anything else. Playing football this week, because the anniversary of my brother's death, I really feel like I should play hard, especially wearing his number. I don't know that Matthew needs much extra motivation because he plays so hard anyway, but I'm looking forward to seeing him with that extra motivation, and I know his brother would be proud of him and what he's accomplished on the football field. Heading into the first playoff game, you lose one and you're done. I'm definitely excited to get our revenge and make a run at the championship, but I'm also kind of nervous. People think I'm overconfident sometimes. I'm terrified going up until the game. I just want to get locked in. It definitely means more this week. It would really mean a lot if I played well. Ready! Ready! First round of the playoffs. Seniors, you take a playoff tonight, and it might be over for you. All year long, since January, we put lots and lots of pressure on you so you don't feel the pressure of tonight. This should be, truly, just another game for you because we expect a level of success and greatness from you, always. So all this is is the culmination of a year's work. That's all it is. Let's go try to make a play early. Let's do it right. Be on sides. Go get the freaking ball. Definitely are nervous. It's the first playoff game, and so I'm a little anxious. There it is. Didn't take quite the hop that they wanted. It wasn't slow enough. Got there a little too fast. First playoff game. If we lose, we're out, so I'm kind of nervous on how we're going to do. Here comes Beasley. Under center, there's the snap. They like to do this option stuff, so as a defender, there's a lot of pressure. We missed an assignment, so guy ran through the open gap. Finally brought down around the 10-yard line. How do we not tackle the fullback? First drive of Magnolia, they're running the ball, and they go down to the one-yard line. First to go. We're going to run another 40 seconds off. We were trying everything we could to stop them from getting in the end zone. Looks like he got in there. Let's see. Saying there's a fumble. Let's see what the referee that says. Clint Wilson saying that's our ball. That's a fumble, Tommy! And the referees are not sure. Is that ruined? Yeah, oh. ruined football from their own one yard line. Hey, tell your, tell your guys to show the ball to the ref. Wilson's in the back of the end zone with the freaking ball. Good job. The defense forced a turnover while they're on the one yard line and we get the ball. We're going to run five left, 50 hammer. Ray Fratcher in his first drive of tonight's game. It's definitely more nerve-wracking to know that you're starting on the opposing one-yard line and have to go 100 yards. Get the ball down! Go, Get the ball down! Being backed up on the one-yard line, I'm sitting in the end zone. A little bit of pressure. There's the pass. We've been in that position before. We practiced that. Oh, does he and hold on to it? Come down he certainly it. does. Andrew Cobb. Andrew Cobb bringing it in. Wow. All right, y'all go. Hey, first play. First play. I don't do a lot of scripting plays, but I like to throw in a trick play early. There's the snap to Bratcher. A little shovel pass to Pfizer. And then that one goes back to Bratcher, and he passes it. It's complete to Andrew Cobb. Even if it doesn't work, and a lot of coaches don't like them if they don't work, I think it makes the other team a little heads. We're going to have to find out the name of that formation. I'm not sure what it was. Gets caught at the one yard line, but we're rolling. Give to Hyman. First varsity playoff game for me. You know, I'm not nervous or anything. I'm just locked in for the night. He's in the end zone. We're gonna kick Copter. See, I'll get a scoot in. It's gonna go to the hash. You got it? Let's go. There's the kick from Savannah Goodwin, and it is fielded immediately at the 45 yard line. I kick it too hard towards the middle, and they easily recover. You've got to hit the ball in the right spot, Savannah. You're wasting chances. We might as well just give them the freaking ball right there. It's, you've got to be better than that. I feel devastated because I really wanted to do a lot better within the first two kicks. 
Here's Beasley under center. Defense is pulling through. He's going to keep it, and he's going to lose about five yards on that one. They blitz every time. They blitz every time. He's got a man in motion. The give is to the exchange between the dive back and the quarterback. Someone wrong there. And he ended up fumbling the ball. The Bruins came up with it. For the defense step up in a playoff game, it's exciting for the offense. Both sides play well, then we're unbeatable. There's the snap, looking to pass. It looks like he's going to keep it. Touchdown! I run in for a touchdown, and now we're up two scores. What the freak happened over there? My guy was backing up, and I did not follow. You go, to, you go! You go freaking three steps, fade it to the goal line, and the ball's going to hit you there. Do you all know how to run fade stops? They're giving it to us on the goal line. Do you watch practice? Yes, yeah, sir. Gosh, my. It's really confusing to play against that read option. There's the snap. Handoff immediately goes. Oh, that was a fake. He kept it. Got to be quicker than the quarterback to make the play. And he's in the end zone for a touchdown. If you've got contained, I don't care if you get grabbed, held. You have to turn and sprint straight freaking out. Son, you've got to dip, rip, swim, something. The nice high end over end kick. I'm not surprised that they kicked the ball to me because the game before I had two kickoff return. Yo, Hyman. They, they better watch the out. From last week. They better watch out. He's at the 40, the 35, the 30, the 25, the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Joe Hyman. Just like that. Hey, hey, hey. Hammer. There's the snap. Looking to the left side. Down the center. Oh. Who is that? If you're going to drop the ball, you're going to drop it doing it the right way because somebody hit you when it got there or something. Not because we just fundamentally don't do our job. Good job on the return again. I have no idea why people keep kicking you the ball. But I'm glad they do. I really want to do well in the playoffs to prove myself. Are you going to kick a good kick? Slow NBA. Slow NBA. We'll go slow NBA. I trust you. I'm just thinking that I got to make an impact in the game. Ah! Ah! That's a good kick. That's what we need every time. That gives us a chance. We almost like kick and they recover it and they put together another good drive. Little shovel pass is complete. And they put the ball in the end zone. That's touchdown. a touchdown. Kick is up and it is good. So the score is now 18 to 14. We're not backing down. Keep coming back and putting points up on the board. Quads right, X hitch, A gator, Z Y block and eight. He throws it deep to Cooper White, but he is unable to come up with it. There's the snap. Ratchers rolling out the right side. Two incomplete passes. It's not a good feeling. You gotta quit throwing the ball high. You're killing us. They're keeping the safeties pretty deep, which is taking away the deep ball. Into the hands. Jaden Kelly. Jaden Kelly. Haven't heard him tonight yet. Just wanna show up whenever the team needs you most. Passes to the left to Kelly, who's got running room. He's got blockers. Definitely still a game. We gotta make sure that we don't lose focus. There's the pass. It's complete to Cobb, and he's in the end zone for a touchdown through it. Catch the ball, stay on your feet, and go score. And when I run a screen to him, take one more step in, the outside linebacker runs in. We literally have one human being over there to block. Do it the way I draw it up. Magnolia, they're forcing the fourth and nine situation. He is forced out of bounds by Buda Shinkawa. 26-14, fourth down, quarterbacks rolling out. Ivy Hug, chases the quarterback down. Forces the quarterback out of bounds, and now our offense can take over. Number five ran out of bounds, ending the run. Matthew Hug gets his first sack and stops a drive, and I'm happy for him at that moment. Making a big play, especially on fourth down, gives us a lot of confidence. Ray switch, tailback bubble right. There's the snap. In practice, we had talked about the way they played their defense. It's going deep. He's got Brayton Cash in the end zone. Play calls are working, the offense is clicking. It's a good feeling. Slow NBA this way. Go get the dang ball. It's 34 to 14, still in the first quarter. Savannah Goodwin. Ball is teed up. It's going to take a nice high bounce. Oh, and it got touched. Let's see. And then I see that we got it because everyone's hands go up. I'm very excited, and I'm really glad. And it was really great to get that one kick. Nice job. Hey, that was really nice. In a playoff game, when we've got to have it, she goes out there and nails it. This is a moment that she deserves. I'm so proud of her. Now it's every play, try to be great. 
Every drive, try to be perfect, and there's no way we can lose, okay? Don't let down because we're up a little bit. Everybody got it? Yes, sir. Offensive line, I think it's probably one of the best games all year, blocking-wise. I'm going to run it straight up the middle into the end zone. Which one of y'all didn't have anybody to block? They only had a four-man box. It's tough when you can't find anybody to block. Number 13 is my brother's number. I feel like if I just wear that number and don't play hard, it's not worth anything. Sacked in the backfield. Matthew Hug. Do your job. You got it? Dig in! Watch your bootleg. Don't get sucked in. You know, I just fired off hard and I did a swim move. There's the snap, looking to pass. Lots of pressure and there's a sack. You know, it was definitely a special week with the anniversary of my brother. When he gets that second sack and that third sack, our coaches know, our team knows, the crowd knows something pretty cool is going on right here. On a day like that, to win the game like that, go forward, feels great. Our final score here at Pulaski Academy, 63 to 34, and the Bruins move on to round two. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you, I appreciate it. We get the 200th win, and it's a great feeling. Great job. 200 wins means a lot because 200 wins is a, is a symbol of the thousands of kids over the years and coaches and people that came together to get 200 wins. And you guys came out here and did what you had to do. Got to win at home. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. <laughs> Coach Bill Belichick comes up on the big screen. Coach Kelly, congratulations on your 200th win. That's an awesome accomplishment. I uh, really appreciate your support and friendship and uh, all the time that we've been able to spend together. Uh, good luck to the Bruins uh, and their quest for another uh, championship. So proud of all that you and the team have done and want to wish you the best in the playoffs coming up. You don't see Bill Belichick going out of his way to congratulate high school football coaches very often. There's a snap. Kaw passes it to Ratcher. be out in the field at 325 and Jaden's not out in the field yet and Coach Kelly notices. We're doing these because Jaden's late, doesn't have his shoes tied and forgot he was supposed to do a lap. Down. His shoes still ain't tied. Down. May not ever get tied. Down. I'm there on time sitting in the film room and I remembered that I forgot to run my lap. Down. I was worried about him coming off the game Friday night. You have it. 2,000 yards last year. Want him not to be out of confidence. I want him not to think he's not a part of the game plan. We're going to game plan around what defense they're giving us. Now. <laughs> Jaden's vital to our team, and we just got to get him on the same page. Let's go in and try this again. Let's go. I'm trying to focus in on trying to win these last three games. And Harrison. If there was ever a time they were going to beat Pulaski Academy, this is the year. I mean, with the senior class, the way they've been playing. You see on social media, here on the radio, that Harrison, this is their year. The last two years, we've ended their season. That senior class, they've been working for this year more than ever. We're on the road, and the weather's forecasted to be not so great. I've got a lot of concern. You guys got to have good spacing. You're right beside each other. Let's go, let's go. Go. I'm trying not to yell, but this is freaking ridiculous to have five balls in our hands and not catch the ball. That's terrible. It is playoff week, and you don't have a good practice. It makes you a little more nervous. Let's go, defense. Sharpen it up. When offense does bad, you guys pick it up. Harrison, they have a big running back, Gabe Husky, that we're all cautious for. He can probably run us all over if you wanted to. He's big, he's strong, he's fast. He can pick up the hard first down or score from anywhere. Well, that's a worry as a coach. Take a little flatter angle. Good. They've got confidence all they want to. Nobody wants to play, y'all. 
but we got to go up there and show that we're somebody that you don't want to play in the second round of the playoffs. Harrison plays their game plan that Coach Wells has laid out and has told us about. Harrison wins this ball game, and that's who I'm picking. We head up to Harrison, Arkansas. Trip's about three hours. It's rainy, foggy, it's dark outside. It's definitely a little spooky. Harrison's a small town. Everyone there roots for Harrison. It just feels like we're not wanted there. Just seeing all the signs about PA, you can tell that you're in a place where you're not really welcomed. Everyone wanted to see PA go up to Harrison and get beat and go home. We get in there and we check to the hotel. And then we had to do this random field for practice. We show up to the practice field and there's no light. We're going to close our eyes for 30 seconds and your pupils are going to dilate. When you open them up, you're going to be able to see a little bit better. Everybody understand? Sure. Close your eyes, go. You just like close y'all's eyes. It works a little bit, but it's still hard to see. Put yourself in the moment of the game tomorrow. Do your job and it'll be easier tomorrow because it'll be light. This isn't anything new to us. That's just PA real football. No. Where's the ball? Oh, it's tough. Let's go. You got to focus. It's wet and dark. The reward of getting a good practice in is worth more than worrying about an injury. So I decide that's what we're going to do. Focus, concentrate, find the ball. I know it's tough. No lights, no problem. We'll stay true to ourselves and get our work in. Ain't nobody else there practicing right now because they don't want it bad enough. You look fast in the dark. If we could get somebody watching in the dark, we'd be in business. It's good. Everybody in? Good job overall in conditions and stuff like that, folks. I think we definitely got something out of it. On the way back, we've got about an eight-minute ride. Let's be quiet and let's visualize something in the game. That way I know you've got it in. Everybody got it? Sir. Good work. Proud of you. Last year, in the semifinals of the playoffs, we sent them home. They definitely have some redemption on their mind. I respect you guys' commitment, dedication, hard work, listening to us, persevering through it. But I respect more when we walk out on the field and we put it all together, and it's all about all you have, all you've got. Tonight is one of those nights where it might just take all you have. You don't back down, you go, until you absolutely know for a fact you've given all you have for this football team. Together, we've been through a long, long season, but I do not want it to be over. And if you guys play like you're capable, there's nobody in this state that can beat you. Let's go. Let's go. Everything you got, every play, let's go. Let's go get it, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go. go. You ready? Sorry. Play the game of your life. First three. Let's go. We start off with the ball. There's the pass. It's complete to Kelly. Picks up about five yards before he's brought down. Cold and rainy are probably the receiver's two worst enemies. You kind of have to lean on that run game a little bit because it's so wet and cold. Across the 45, across the 40, forced out of bounds. Getting my rhythm early in the game, it just helps. Handoff goes immediately to Joe Hyman. Let's go, Joe! Mason Cobb trying to push it into the end zone himself. Touchdown Bruins. Just having points up on the board to start off the game is a good feeling. Slow NBA this way. Let's start this thing off. Good job let's on go, offense. Let's go, let's go. We go out to kick the onside kick. The crowd is really loud and focused on you and it's a weird atmosphere. So now we see how much Harrison's been practicing for the onside kick recovery. The Bruins recovered too. And that really was kind of the difference in that game. There's the kick, takes a nice little bounce. I noticed they have a different strategy. Instead of trying to receive the kick, they block our guys. Now the Bruins are going to get their first taste of Husky. We're undersized, so our plan is to blitz and try to find all the holes. Husky, who's down the sideline before he's brought down a 12-yard line. Handoff immediately goes to Husky. Gave Husky's running the ball, and we're just trying to stop him. He is able to run into the end zone. 
for the touchdown. Good thinking, this may be back in fourth game. Let's go, jet five right. Rogers rolling out, he's trying to find a man. He gets shoved out of bounds. Braden, throw it out somebody's feet so we don't lose three yards. It's fourth down and 11. Roger has a snap. Throw the ball to Mason. He's got a man right there, and it's complete. He thinks he has a first down. We'll see if they're going to give him the first down. He didn't make a first down. He didn't make it. I don't know what y'all are looking at. They're saying they did not get it. He comes up short, and we turn the ball over on down. It's fourth. Do you not know what down it is in distance? Yes, Come on, Mason. Braden, and your freaking two-yard loss on the scramble cost us a first down. Why would you just throw the ball and take it in completion? That's tough not to convert on a fourth down. That is crucial to our success of the game. They can't stop us. Only us can stop us. This is not a team you want to get behind. After the first drive, defense locks in. Husky's looking for room on the right side. He does not get much. Harris is taking a lot of time off the clock. For an offense sitting over on the sideline, it makes you have a nervous feeling in your gut. So the Goblins are looking at their own and fourth down. Let's go Lex, left, over, silo left. He's looking deep, doesn't have anyone. Just kind of running around a lot and trying to make plays. That's not really what our offense is designed to do. He gets rid of it finally. Oh, and, and it's, it's caught! and caught. That was Andrew Cobb with the heads up play. We get down to the one yard line. Jake Kelly taken down at about the one yard line. They called it short. Jaden Kelly, number 21, the ball here. Joe Hyman in the tailback. Let's see if he made it across. Inch or two shy. We think we're going to punch it in real quick. And he got he's stopped again. It's going to be third and inch. Dangerous pass. Yes, Rogers is under pressure. Come and tell back Joel! Joe Hyman comes out. It's going to be fourth down and one yard to go. Mason Cobb, right up the middle. Freak! Are we not in? They're saying he did not make it in the end zone. It was in, yes sir. It was in, folks. We can't do anything to freak him out. It's what we get for not getting it in on one and two. We can't leave it close for the refs to make a call one way or another. Bruins, how can you think it's safety here? Play after play where they run the ball and then come back up and run the ball again. He is brought down at the one yard line. We're well conditioned, so we were ready for it. Bruins are thinking that's a safety. He didn't call it! The referees are giving him forward progress. Defense forces a big stop and they're forced to punt. We get good field position. Rolling out, looking to pass. Pass is out there. It's complete to Nichols. Go, Caleb! Just the ball in the end zone, and now we have another touchdown back on the board. It's 14 to 7, and we're feeling good, but we know that they could come back. All right, hey, she's going to kick a copter. They're going to struggle with it. They're coming to hit you. Watch for the rebound, because it's going to probably hit one of them. Big game is the playoffs, and this is a huge moment. I kick it, and I see the ball get past their first line. There it is. It's in. The Bruins have it. About. Thinking back to September to now, I can't believe I'm making a big play in a playoff game like this. That's 14-7, momentum swinging our way. There's the pass, there's no one there to receive it. That's terrible, absolutely terrible, you know what? Harrison, they're a good team. It's hard for the whole offense. We're just not clicking. Blitz, blitz! Blitz, Mason, a quick one! Fourth and 16, we're back in another fourth down position. One minute left in the first half. Quads left. If we convert, we've got a chance to score. So we go for it. Roger gets loose from one defender, gets loose from another. Put a little pressure. Looking deep, he launches it, but it's over his head. Good job getting it off. We don't convert this fourth down. And Harrison has the ball back and they have another chance to score. Johnson with the shotgun, he gives it to Husky. Husky's trying to find room on the left side and he has stopped. We need our defense to step up. The Goblins are going for it on fourth down. Freaking battle. Let's pay hey, this. Hey, one down, squeeze. You, one down, squeeze. Fourth down. Hey, what's the ball? Johnson's under pressure. He attempts a pass. It's over the head. Nice job. Good move, man. Let's go. We got 27 seconds. Oh, Joe's going to run arena, but we're running Ray Switch. Okay. We get a stop. We've got the ball back. We've still got plenty of time. Looking to pass. There, it's out there, and it looks like it's complete. 2.6 seconds remaining in the first half. Right before half, last play. Quads left. Hail Mary. Hail Mary, Hail Mary good. Right. Lots of
applying some pressure and throwing the ball out there. Let's see what happens. continue to step it up. You have a chance to do something pretty freaking cool right here. And that's beat Harrison at Harrison. They will make a play. They've already made one, but you stood right back to freak up and said, bring it, and you stopped them. We've got to do that again. We're coming out at halftime with a lot of confidence, and I'm met by the official. There's nothing I can do. When you come out late, I have to be together 15 yards. In front of the line. Apparently, we come out of half too late. They give us an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. I was telling your coaches, I can tell you, we're under three, we're under two, we're under one. As and I even told them we started, to warm up. So we, we started we start the second three. Way, I've been coaching 28 years. I've never been called for that penalty. After again, just kick the freak out of it. Know where the ball, the ball's on the 25, now it's the 35's the number, okay? Instead of the 50, y'all got it? Let's go get the ball. I decide that we're just as well off to do what we do and do what's got us here, and that's onside kick from the 25. Bruins are actually kicking from the 25 yard line. And as we are doing an onside kick on the 25 yard line, we kick it. Goblins recovered at the 35 yard line. And now they have great field position. Gives it to Husky. Harrison, after the half, just keeps on running the ball. Sean's under pressure. He gets loose, though. Their quarterback breaks a run. He is close to the end zone. Ball comes out, and one of our kids jump on the football. To say they took the momentum is an understatement. Johnson keep the ball here, and he tries to push it in, and he does. So now Bruins leading by six. Now it's 20 14, right after half. Five left, 57 Z8. Go, go, on. On. We're driving down. Bradshaw's got time. There's a pass over the middle. Great catch by Jake Kelly. We know that we're going to have to fight to win this game. Harris is not just going to lay down. There's a pass over the middle, and it is incomplete. He's got lots of pressure. He's going to have to get that ball off. Now we're forced into another fourth and ten position. So fourth down and ten. All right. Rolling out the left side, trying to find the receiver, and it's deflected. They come up with a huge stop. You're wide open. You're not even making a look anymore. You didn't even look at him, did you? That's when you start, you start to feel a little worried. You have got to start playing football. Come on now, that's a free touchdown. Hand off immediately to Husky. He's going to make his way across the 40. They're driving down and grinding the clock out. We're sitting on the sideline, cold. Our muscles are starting to tighten up from not moving. If I was Harrison, I'd be doing the same thing. So it's the right game plan for them. So it's going to be fourth and two. Huge play coming up here for the Bruin defense. Here we go. Be smart. Go, here we go. Gives it to Husky. He's at the 20, he's at the 10, and he is in the end zone. Under a minute remaining in the third quarter. Bruins have been held scoreless in this third quarter. I want them to know, hey, we're still the same team that can run anything, anywhere, anytime. Let's do a good job blocking over there. We're running Bulldog. You got it? I decided to call a trick play. There's a snap. Gives it to Nichols, who gives it to Cobb, who passes it to Bratcher. He gets hit pretty hard and he's not getting up. Nolan! What the freak are you at? It's on my shoulder. It's just the back of my head. Hit there and my hands and my hands hurt first. Is this numb? A little bit. Ruffick comes out to take over the quarterback position. Freak 
are you at? Don't throw me into this coach. Mason, I'm ready. Nolan was so confident and convinced me at that moment. I know I can put him in and we can run our offense. Five left, 50, twister. Yes, sir. The guy that's literally leading the country in passing, he's down on the turf. It's going to be a little bit different when you put in another guy. I go in the game. We are down by one. It's the fourth quarter. We have to score in this drive. I remember back to the Shreveport game when Braden went down, going in. It gave me confidence to throw in this Harrison game. Ruffick comes out to take over the quarterback position. There's so much pressure in this game. It's on him. There's the pass over the middle to Jaden Kelly. We make some good yardage on it, so I proceed to call four more pass plays. Saying to myself, be excited. And I kind of started feeling it. There's a pass over the middle. That's complete. I felt the momentum change. I noticed the whole game, linebackers are bailing out, and I know exactly where I'm going with the ball. He's got running room. He is brought down at the 15-yard line. I was mainly focusing on getting first downs, keep the drive going, and then eventually go down to the goal line. Trying to make his way in there, but he's forced out of bounds at about the four-yard line. Y and a Cowboy, pick your leverage, we get out there. First and goal from the three. Sweep to the right with Caleb Nichols. There's the snap. I hand it off to him and he gets in. Touchdown, Ruin! We were down 21 to 20. We want to be up 28, 21. We go for two. Certainly have to get it. It's a seven point difference. And it is good for the yes. two point conversion. Nolan throws a perfect slant. I look at the crowd and everybody's cheering and all the seniors come over and they start high-fiving me and stuff. I feel a ton of weight lifted off my shoulders. It just feels good to step up. Way to step at the freak up, but we needed you to step at the freak up, okay? Braden's a great football player, but this team's never been about one guy. Great job, Nolan. Well done by Nolan Ruffin on that drive to come in, just kind of take over the reins. There's 10 minutes left, and an onside kick here would be huge. We're planning to do an NBA kick. Savannah Goodwin has the football teed up. Hey, nice! At the very last minute, he signals the middle signal. The ball takes a nice little hop. We don't get it. And the Goblins recover at the 50-yard line. The Goblins here with 8 minutes, 45 seconds left in the game. Johnson's in the shotgun. Here come the Bruins. He passes deep, and it is caught. Oh! Goblins threatening again. Fourth quarter, 28-21, we have the lead. The Harrison has the ball back and they're starting to drive. Second, seven. Ben Johnson on the keeper. Let's go, D! Let's go! Come on! Third down and six, maybe seven to go. Uh, rolling out the left side, trying to pass it. Let's see if he's got a man. No! Fourth down for the Goblins here. Biggest play of the game right here, folks. Fourth and six, I have to make a play. As soon as the ball snapped, I run full force, outside blitz. And he has wrapped oh. up and taken it down. Shoot him. The teammates are pumped up. You know, I'm pumped up. Now we have the momentum. Fuda comes up with a huge sack. Now, all the momentum is our way. I decide to go with the IJK, where I put three running backs back there, and effectively try to run some clock. Start with IJK, pro right, wrap to right lead. Hurry up! Joe Hyman, Jake Kelly, and Azarius Woods out there. I'm like the quarterback in this situation. If we want to rotate who gets the ball, we have the freedom to do that. We just got to make sure that we're all on the same page. That's yes. Joe Hyman getting the snap, and he he's got it. He's at the 30. You know, Joe gets the ball the first and runs out of bounds. We didn't burn as much clock as we wanted to. I see a ball being passed over there. That is Bradger. Okay. It's good to hear. Tailback, A, bubble, quarterback. The first down for the Bruins. The IJK offense is working. We're running the ball good and we're driving down the field. The Bruins looking to put this one away here in Harrison, Arkansas. Todd had said just try to keep moving it around and throw on the sidelines with somebody and see how it feels. And there's part of me that I was kind of iffy on going back in because I don't want to hurt the team. I feel like I'm good enough to go back in, so I go and tell Coach. I don't need a think, I need a note. Six minutes, 14 seconds and counting left in this game. There's the snap directly to Jaden Kelly. The Bruins. Have a nice little drive going here. If you're gonna go down, go down with who got you there. And Braden's been our guy. Fourth down and four to go with three minutes and 45 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And he's rolling out the right side. I'm scrambling out of the pocket. Forced to throw that should not have forced. Looking to pass and oh no! Intercepted. 
They ended up picking me off. They get the ball back with very limited time left in the game. Three, me running. You can't stop on that. You're not going to have any time. That's all right, hey. We're going to have another chance, hopefully. The Goblins have taken over the ball. Let's go! The defense knows that they have to make a play. I get another call for an outside blitz. First play, I hit him as hard as I can. The ball ends up flying away. Clinton ends up getting hold of it, and now it's our ball. Shinkawa! Huge, huge play. Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's probably the best moment I've ever had in my football career, you know, making that game ending tackle. It was one of my dreams. You a bad man! Here's Fuda again coming making a big play. And the Bruins move on to round three, where they will be hosting the Moralton Devil Dogs. Coach, what you've done here is unbelievable. I mean, I'm serious. Y'all come in and y'all have changed the culture, changed everything. I appreciate it. PA Bruins going to the semis again. Wow, we, hey. Please give it up for our defensive coaches and defensive players. That's not a great feeling. I want you to remember that feeling. You don't get that feeling very many more times in life. It's a great feeling because we battled together, because we've been through so much and fought so hard. That's what makes anything great in life is when you battle through something so hard to get what you're trying to accomplish. Nolan brother, call it up. A huge game like this, no one comes in, steps right in. Just so proud of the whole team. Feeling amazing, probably the best feeling I've ever had this year. Third round, playoffs, home field advantage again. Can't wait. That was great. Congrats. Awesome stuff. Thank you, thank you. We got thank you. Week. Is that who won? I figured it was. That kid, that Chriswell kid's good. Yeah. Ooh, he's a real deal. Really? So we're headed to Professor Bowl, the bowling alley, to celebrate our win against Harrison. We are playing Morton this week. I know they have a really good quarterback, so it's kind of like a step on the way to get into the state championship and achieving our goal. I know we want to take it one game at a time, but you can't help but notice that Little Rock Christian is making it far too in the playoffs. There is some pressure for me to try to perform well to get some colleges interested. Jaden has a lot of pressure on his shoulders, but I just keep telling him, like, keep grinding, they'll come in, they'll come, just, you know, keep your head up. I told you! We put in so much time to search football. It's also nice to get a chance to get away from football and just have fun and chill and relax. It's time to stop playing around with you, dude. Let's go. Kelly's not too good. What should the loser have to do? The loser has to stand up against the one against our water balloons at it. No, we doing eggs. No, we doing eggs. Egg. We doing eggs. Egg. The loser, we're going to put him against the wall and get a whole bunch of eggs and just start throwing the eggs at him and pegging him. We're really competitive with each other. You don't want to lose because the eggs are going to hurt. We don't let people out with easy punishments. I'm not the best bowler. I'm just going to be real, but Jalen Witcher doing the punishment. He is single-handedly one of the worst bowlers I've ever seen. That is Jalen Witcher. I stay humble. They talking all that smack, but I'm gonna come back. As long as I didn't choke, I'd be okay. Big time players make big time plays in big time games. All right, man. Wait, so Graham might become last, not me. Okay, I'll be, I'll be Graham. <laughs> oh my goodness. Man, it's too close, man. It's too close. It's too close. Jalen chokes really bad. Matter. All he had to do was hit like one pin. He gutted it. Everybody put their own score and they all fall and don't steal. Miscounted something in his head or something. I don't really know. And he ends up losing. What did, did Jalen get? What did Jalen get? What did Jalen get? I got a Why did you hit any pins? I was trying Jalen get. Jalen had a huge comeback and he didn't calculate right, so he ended up guttering twice in a row and he lost. After bowling, we buy some eggs and we throw them at Jalen. Let's go, y'all ready? <laughs> hey, back up for real, for real. That hurts. Nah, dude, I'm finna get up close with this dude. <laughs> nah, don't. <laughs> and then it turns into like a whole egg war in the parking lot. Yeah. That's who we are. We like to have fun yeah, and go no. crazy. <laughs> 
beat Harrison, and now we're on to Moralton. It's going to be a tough game. They're very good. They're quarterback, one of the best players in the state. And we've got to play great defense. You've got to be ready for anything, and you can't go brain dead on anything. They're a good team, but yeah. Jacoby Criswell, their quarterback, six out. That's how you hear about it. Oh, we got to start processing and start thinking it. It's wet and nasty. Ready, go. Bring an attitude, dominate. Work. Good. Jacoby Criswell is Moralton's quarterback. I knew when I saw him on film, the kid's going to be really good. This is the best quarterback we've faced all season. Our defense has to play with guts and toughness. Foodie, you're going to be walked up outside. Right in there. You can be light, slightly off or slightly on. Here we go. You got to get it in gear. Good. Go. Now, if they run a backside read against that play, we're in trouble. Good. Ready, go. Work, work. Coming into this week, we know our defense, who has played extremely well against Magnolia, even better against Harrison. We're going to need every bit of that confidence against Jacoby Criswell and Moralton this week. We're here to win a football game and get back to the finals. Little Rock Christian, they're on the other side. I mean, let's be honest, I want to get there. But to do that, you have a tough, tough task in hand. We are battle prepared for the win. But if you're not ready, if we let down at all, I promise you this game won't go the way we want it. We need to remember that. Call it up. Hey, bros on three. One, two, three. Bros. Supposed to rain this week. Supposed to rain this week, too. We end up playing, y'all. That's what we should. Sure. So y'all already y'all already practicing first? You getting ready first? Not right, not right now. I'm going to get a haircut. I see Chris Hightower, receiver for Lower Christian, at the barber shop. I've known Chris for a while because we played against each other pretty much our whole lives in football. Yeah, I guess you could say we're kind of like rivals. What's your stats looking like right now? I've been kind of struggling. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I had a good game against Harbor starting off. Yeah. And I ended up getting hurt. And I came back against Fair, but I really wasn't 100% like that. And then against y'all, I had a good game. And then ever since, it's been like all average stuff. I heard you had like four touchdowns against Parkview though, in like the first half or something. Yeah, I had four the first quarter. They were playing man to man, and they didn't switch out, so. We play against Whitehall this week. If we beat them, and if PA beats Morrison this week, we'll play them next Saturday in the uh, state championship at War Memorial. I can see his winner by probably like 16 or something. I don't know, you never know, it's gonna be crazy. I didn't think it'd be 63-61 the first time we played him. So this week we're practicing onside kicks, just in case we end up making it to the state championship. We start off practice doing that. In between drills, we practice catching onside kicks. And we um, after practice, we finish catching onside kicks. So that just goes to show how much people have to prepare for our onside kicks and how big of a part of our game plan they are. Yeah, you can never over prepare for it. I want to play them so bad, get a chance at them again. But before Little Rock Christian, we have to get through Jacoby Criswell and Moralton. Minus one minute and counting. This game is to play in the finals. This game is to go get you to the point where you go get back what we didn't have last year. There's nothing in life that guarantees you you get a chance to try something again. But you guys are close. And the only thing that stands in your way is that team over there, Moralton. So they got some good players, but the guy that scares me is their quarterback. And Jacoby, he's a big kid, mobile with his feet, can throw a perfect ball. Playing against a quarterback that's already committed to North Carolina, a big Division I school, you know you have a great opponent on your hands. This game, there's going to be scouts, and I want to prove something. Defense, you played the best game you've played all year last week. What you want to do is just get a little better every week. If we do that, we're going to win the game. If we don't do that, we're in for a fight. I'm excited about watching you seniors take one more step towards getting back to where you were last year when you ended it not the way you wanted to. Game on! And let's get this party started tonight! First three, let's go. We're going to build a 10. Okay. For us seniors, it's our last time we'll ever be able to play on the PA turf. Playing against a great team in the semifinals, we gotta take care of business. All right, triplets on the right. There's the pass. It's complete to Joe Hyman. These screen passes is one of my favorite plays, helping the passing game open up. He's across the 15. 
Jacoby Criswell, their quarterback, has a lot of college offers, and I don't, so I want to prove something. There's the pass. He's got Cobb out there who receives it. Immediately sits on the dude. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. Touchdown! The offense scores a touchdown quickly, and we're in business. That one was intended for Jaden Kelly. You got to catch that ball. You casually caught it, looked off, didn't look at it. Copter this way. Go get it. Find a way to get the ball. The first onside kick is nerve wracking. Savannah Goodwin out there with the ball flat on the ground. There's the helicopter kick. It's loose. No, that way! That way! That way! Yes. Coach Kelly is protesting. It's Bruins ball. It's great to keep the ball out of their hands because they have a good quarterback. We're going to go ace, all sevens, tailback two. Make them go through the line and two to whichever side you want. Read the line back on the center two. Hand off to Hyman. He's got a lane up the middle. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. He cuts to the outside. He's at the 15 to 10. He is juking and driving into the end zone. Touchdown! Wow! What's the flag? Freak! We have a flag at the 12 yard line. What number? What number? I think it's Jay, all right? What number? What number? 21 21. Hey, Jay, at least you're playing hard. Ratcher once again in the shotgun. He has three receivers on the left. Tailback, throw it to the tailback. One on the right. Hyman sitting back to block. There's the pass. It's complete to Hyman. Touchdown, Joe Hyman. I'm a sophomore in the semifinal game scoring touchdowns, and it's like a good feeling for me. Gives it to Hyman. Hyman, who bobbles it, and he is brought down just shy of the end zone. Gosh, dang it. Good job running it in. I don't want to keep overcoming dumb penalties. Just don't do stupid stuff. Savannah Goodwin is set up. It's a little helicopter kick. You can't bounce it, Savannah. So we get our first look at Jacoby Criswell tonight. The game plan is to keep him inside the pocket and try to corner him. Our defense hasn't gone up against a quarterback as elusive and as fast as Jacoby Criswell. Looks like Buda Shinkawa finally brought him down. Criswell's in the shotgun. He can throw the ball well. He's under pressure. That's Hug pressuring him. He passes it to Williams. He takes a lick but hangs on. Y'all are welcome to come. They can run the ball well. Chris Bell is going to keep it. He dodges one tackle. You think he's going to go one way and he'll take a step and go the other way. And about five more tackles, he gets into the end zone. We think to ourselves this is going to be tough. Driving down the field underneath it. Do you understand? Go, let's go! Pass goes to Nichols and he's completed the catch before he's forced out of bounds. There's Bradshaw in the shotgun. He's under pressure. He did not go anywhere. So the Bruins looking at fourth and 12. Fourth and 12, backed up. Hey! Never mind, runner. Coach Kelly calls a pass play, it breaks down. Lots of pressure. He's going to keep that one and he's going to pick up that first down all on his own. Oh my gosh, he's still on his feet. Look at that touchdown all on his own. Great Bradshaw. Braden has a chip on his shoulder. Wow. Surprised he hasn't gotten a single college offer yet. Show that he can play against who they have ranked as the best and compete with him. Goodness gracious. I mean, he was under pressure immediately. Huddle up and tell him it's the fake extra point. Charlie Oh, they faked it. And the Bruins have failed to convert their third two-point conversion. We aren't making our two-point conversions. We're giving them a little hope. You can't kick the ball under the ball, okay? Now don't get all freaking stressed out. Excited, be excited about the next kick. There's the little helicopter kick, takes a little bounce. So it gets right here, bounce up this high. It's easy to catch if it bounces. Here's Chriswell looking to pass down the left side. He's got the pass out there and it's complete. Tackling somebody like Jacoby is very hard. Here's Chriswell, he has triplets on the right side. Let's go, D! He's getting lots of pressure. We focused that week on tackling low. Here he's gonna see if Fuda can wrap him up and he sure did, wow! Fuda's a spark for this defense. Freaky fast Fuda. He makes a lot of big plays to give us momentum in these games. They are going to punt. All deep 10 ZX angle. There's the snap to Bratcher. Freak. I'm scrambling out of the pocket. I make a big mistake. It is a fumble. There is a scrum. I think that the Devil Dogs are hanging out with that. The only way we lose if we turn it over. That's on me, huh? You give the momentum going your way one second, and then the next second, 
it's gone. Looking to pass down the left side. He's got the pass out there, and it's complete. Do your job! Third and seven, you back off! Why are we off so far? He's rolling out to the right. He has a man. Oh, my gosh. Chris Wells going to keep it. This is the keeper up the middle, and he has got the end zone. Jacoby walks into the end zone for a touchdown, and now we have a ball game. Why do we do stupid stuff in the freaking semifinal? So that brings us to halftime. That's a freaking embarrassing half of football by some of you guys. You cannot let the freaking kid outside. It's freaking stupid little mistake. It ain't about beating them. It's about playing good enough to win a championship. Playing like a champion. And we don't do it. Step on the field and play Bruin freaking football. But this team, I promise you, they're going to make a push. It's Kevin Kelly here, a.k.a. the coach who never punts. Championship teams have championship qualities. My players' strength, grit, and skills to make it this far didn't come from a can of dip. It came from within. We don't use smokeless tobacco, and we are champions on and off the field. Coach Kelly isn't that happy with the defense because we're letting Jacoby outside the pocket. Let's go, D! There's Chris Bell looking deep, and he has a man who is run out of bounds. Hey. Outside in! He's playing off of him 15 freaking yards. Devil Dogs knocking on the door here. Right after halftime, we're all determined to get a stop, but Jacoby ends up running for his third touchdown of the game. What are we doing? We're up, but with a great player like him, they're never out of it. Yes. There's the pass. It's going to go out of bounds. Interesting call by the Devil Dogs here. They declined the penalty, so it's fourth down for the Bruins. Pump the threes, but we're going to look at the X on a super stop and go. Okay. Looking to pass, passes out there, and it's caught by Mason Cobb. Wow! Throw the ball to Mason, he comes up with a huge catch. Momentum's kind of swinging back away now. Pass is complete to Jalen Witcher. He's across the 20, he's across the 10, the 5. He's struggling, trying to get there. Oh, touchdown! Good job getting that fourth down to him, right? Heck of a job. And somehow he threw a great pass running backwards. I don't know why I've got the ball. Why am I holding the ball? Okay. We're super jelly in it between the middle guy and the first guy on the hash. Yeah, okay, let's go get it. The best way to beat them is keep the ball away from Jacoby Criswell. This onside kick's huge. The ball laying again with the stitches facing up in the air, waiting it's... for somebody to grab it. We've got a game on our hand. There's the pass, it's out there and complete. Gosh, dang it, freak! He's throwing it deep. He takes a hard hit. You're like, all right, yeah, we got it, we got it. And then, boom, Criswell makes a play and scores. Quit letting the guy come inside you. Quit playing off. Let's go. Take away the inside. Take away his leverage. Coach Kelly talks to me on the sideline and says he's going to try to get me involved in the offense. Jaden! Jaden! Start at X, and I'm going to run the option to the weak side. Jaden gets involved in the game and put him on a motion sweep. Rogers pitches it. Jake Kelly, and he's in the end zone. The offensive line makes some good blocks, and I was able to score a touchdown. Hey, that was better football right there. That was good brewing football. Jaden, that was good stuff right there. After scoring that touchdown, we're starting to get the championship feel. Chris Will from the shotgun. Let's go! We get pressure on Criswell. Matthew Hook gets pressure, he hits him. Oh my oh, goodness, and Clay. it is intercepted Shane. by Clay James. There you go, Clay. Let's go. Now we got the game in our hands. He finds room up the middle. He's at the That's five, and he is touchdown Bruin. Braden's throwing a redemption to him. He just wants to win a championship. I shouldn't be mad because it's bouncing that high, but I just know that's that much difference. But I know what you're capable of, you know what I'm saying? You've been as much a part of us winning as anybody on this team. We're on to the finals. So the Bruins move on to replay last year's championship game against Little Rock Christian. We're going to state now, and that's what we've been thinking about for the past year. Hey, Seven, you're a great player to watch. I love watching you play football. We're not about going to the game, right? Sir. We're about winning the freaking game, right? Yes, sir. 
You set out a long time ago to accomplish a task, and that task is to play and win the state championship. And you can't win it if you don't make it. So you got to pat yourselves on the back tonight. We beat a good football team. I'm proud of your effort, and I'm proud of your commitment and dedication. But what we can't do is let down this week, right? It's all in, all we've got, one more week. Hey, boys on three. One, two, three. Boys. I didn't think you were going to run that much this game. He gave me a little more freedom this game to run. I saw y'all blitzing a lot. I had to get out of there. No, y'all's O-line is unbelievable. Oh, they're, they're doing good. All right, you take care. I'll be you out there watching this. I appreciate week. it. Have fun. Have fun. Start thinking about and mentally prepare for Little Art Christian. State Championship Week, here we go again. But I need to get away from football just for a little bit. My brother and I, we go duck hunting with a few friends. Hey, right here. Pepper to decoy. It's all right. State Championship, PA versus Little Art Christian. There's going to be media. For me, duck hunting is a time where I can clear my mind and just reflect on things. We want to win state, but it's a good feeling just to know that you've made it. Little Art Christian is the team we want to play. You can't draw it up any better. Do you have two or three green heads? Three? I don't think I see three. There are times where it is very stressful, but it's our last week of practice ever for us seniors. Let's, let's enjoy it. This week is a big week, is it not? It's against Little Rock Christian. Makes it even a little bit bigger week. State championship makes it even a little bit bigger week. But to me, what makes the biggest, you've put all this time and all that effort into one goal. We said one goal. And this is your chance to attain that goal. Coach Kelly shows us the good plays and the bad plays from our last matchup against Little Rock Christian. All right, we're gonna show the bad. Minute and 40 seconds left. We're up seven points right there. We have to hang on to the football. They are great at stripping it. They're better than I would ask us to be. Definitely have a chip on my shoulder to come back and avenge myself for that fumble that I had. Clay, we've got you inside because we want to take away the inside. Why the freak would one step outside, you jump outside? You're way better than that. You're leading the state in interceptions. Trust yourself a little bit. When we play good, when we have a clean pocket, and guys run their routes right, and quarterback makes his read, we're really, really good. We had 845 yards of offense, they couldn't stop us. You should use those plays to motivate you. They motivate me. It's championship week. We can't be afraid to step up heading into this game. Here we go. Just do your job. All I want is somebody to do their job. Good. Every year that we make it to the state championship, we go and practice at War Memorial. You gotta keep working. Boys, we gotta give him more than one freaking second. Where'd that guy come from? I think it's very important to practice in the time you're gonna play it. We're gonna play at noon. I wanted to practice at noon. Boys, and you gotta, you gotta block this week. You gotta block. This is not the time to not give your all. I love him. But he didn't make a play. He didn't make a play running people over. He ran you over. Like a, I mean, it was terrible. That's just, it, it's just pissy effort. Even though we're in the state championship week, Coach Kelly's still coaching me up and helping me improve. When you come off, just stick that safety, because he's the one coming down on you. So just stick him and then keep playing. Okay. He's helped me figure out that you can always get better. Kick off. It's really important, winning a championship at this school. Coach Kelly is definitely trying to put the pressure on us. Are you kicking as hard as you can? Good. All right, everybody in. Get your crap together. Get your thoughts together. You got 48 hours until the dang game's almost over with. Friday morning, before state championship game, moms and cheerleaders, and fans holding up signs for us and cheering us on, and that's the tradition. For us seniors, it's been a, it's been a long season, great ride. Um, it's not over yet. We have one, one big goal to accomplish tomorrow, and uh, that's the state championship game. So we walk off the field uh, victorious and bring the state championship trophy back to where it's supposed to be. Thank you all. That's my quarterback!
Adam's idea about cutting some. Yeah, we got I want I want it at least at least once a quarter. Yeah, absolutely. I mean at least. Yeah. I think it screws up the guards. Sure. They pull yeah. all the time. Whistle. Find the football. Find the guy getting it. There you go. Good job. This is it. On Monday morning, I'm not the PA quarterback anymore. There's a lot of responsibility, a lot of stress, but I'm gonna miss it. There you go, nice, Andrew. It's crazy to know that this will be my final practice as a Class C Academy groom. Good, Jaden, good spot. Yeah, the other are terrible. Good! It's gonna be the last time that I ever get to play high school football. Nice, Andrew. So many emotions that are going through my head right now. Good! The goal is to give revenge and win the state championship. Seniors, last play you ever go run on this field. Nice. Everybody in, let's go. All right, overall it's good crack today. We're ready to peak. I think we are playing our best football at the end of the year, and that's by design. I really think we are ready to play the best football game all around that we've played all year. And I know this, when we do, nobody can beat us. Tomorrow, when we win the game, and I don't ever say that, I never say that. Just make sure we show tremendous class and give them respect when it's all over with. Because they've given us a run the last couple of years and they've forced us to prepare better than we've ever prepared before. So make sure you show tremendous class and then we'll do our celebrating later. Everybody got it? Yes, sir. It's on three. One, two, three, boots! State championship game, we have a task at hand. You can feel your heart start pounding a little faster and adrenaline's kicking in, but it just fuels your fire. Go to watch play the best game ever played. Love to watch play. First play of the game. Ratcher's in the shotgun. He has Joe Hyman back there. The whole team knows that we're running this play on the first play of the drive. Bratcher has the snap. He passes across to Joe Hyman. It's a lateral. I throw it to Cooper. And I complete the pass, and then Cooper, he drives it all the way down to the run. And he makes his way all the way downfield, almost into the end zone. I'm kind of relieved at this moment, and like the crowd is going crazy. Honestly, no better way to start off the game. There's the snap. Handoff goes to Joe. Just a little toss to Joe. Joe runs it in for the touchdown. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Bruins! This is my very first championship. It's a good feeling because I scored the first touchdown. Nice job, Joe! Last time we were really successful with Copter. We're gonna do that again. Copter this way, let's go get it. Hey, let's go! Savannah Goodwin's out there to kick this one back to the Warriors. In the first game against Little Rock Christian, we recovered two onside kicks. We had heard going in that they had been practicing for the last couple of weeks in anticipation of meeting us again, possibly. It's a big stadium. Everyone's eyes are on me and I'm really nervous, but I'm kind of visualizing what I'm supposed to do. Let's see if they can recover this onside kick. Little Rock Christian gets it. I'm disappointed. Feeling excited. Finally, we get to pay them back for what they did to us. Here's Little Rock Christian with their first offensive drive. There's the snap. The running back, which we had a lot of trouble in the first game. The defense forces a fumble. It looks like they turned over the ball. The Bruins have it back. That was a big step for us. Defense steps up. Momentum's swinging our way. It's in our hands. We're ready. Ratchers in the shotgun. There's the pass. It's complete. The Bruins are on a march. They're doing Harrison. Driving down the field, called pass play. 
There's the snap. Bratcher's looking to pass. Scramble a little bit. See Jaden. I throw off my back foot. Whoa, way up in the air. Jaden Kelly brings it down. I don't know exactly who he's throwing the ball to, but I see the ball up in the air and I go up and catch it. It's exciting to make a catch like that and keep the drive going in a big game like this. Call pass play. There's the snap to Bratcher. He's looking to pass. Throw it to Mason Cobb. Got Mason Cobb in the end zone. Touchdown Bruins. Catches it for a touchdown and 14-0. We're feeling good. Yeah, all right, Mary, you going to A today. Hey, love that. Good catch. The offense is feeling good. We scored on every drive so far, and we're feeling confident. Hey, you nervous? Be excited instead. Copter this way. Let's go get it. An onside kick here would be huge. With the stitches up, let's see if they can come up with this onside kick. It can't hop. We kick Copter, but the ball hops up and is easily recovered. You've hopped it up in the air twice. You can, you, you've made it hop twice. Hey, you can't have it hop. If you can keep it on the ground, we'll get it. If you hop it, we're not. I'm feeling like i got to fix something, but I don't really know how to control the ball hopping. All of us are making plays. The D-line's getting pressure. The linebackers are where we need to be. He's looking to pass. He's looking for the deep ball. The D-backs are covering all the receivers. Play James, did he come up with it? No. And we're all just coming together and making all the plays. Listen, we're gonna go spy. This is huge, guys. You understand this. Quick and fourth and eight. Hey, one play. It's fourth down, eight yards to go for the Warriors. He's under lots of pressure and there's Clinton Wilson. He's got him by the shirt tail, and Richard Griffith comes in and finishes him off. We're all hyped. Fourth down stop, turnover on downs. We got to keep it coming. Play by play. If we can get this thing going. I have what I think is the perfect play. No, Andrew! Hey, Andrew! Scoot out! Scoot out! My timing has to be perfect. There's the snap. Looking to pass, the pass is out there. Oh, and it's intercepted. Oh, that's unbelievable. It's what it is. We are a pick six machine. I should have waited to the second window to throw the ball to Andrew Cobb. We're still up, but whenever you're driving, driving, and then I throw a pick six, it's going to drain the momentum. Hey, don't throw any more balls to them. That's plenty. Good. Now, don't go there and try to go crazy. Just play football. It's going to be smart. It's going to happen. Don't let that get to you. Don't let it stress you out. I feel like at this point in the game, I have to make a play to try to give us the momentum back on our side. Just push up my outside and go ahead and drive him in a step. And then get back out. We'll throw it quick. Okay? Because I might check that if he's going to play that way. There's the snap. Little play action there. We are seeing a different Jaden in this game. He's dragging the fenders on his back. Good job, Jake Kelly. Good job. Good job. Different mentality going into this game. Switch, tell back. There's the snap. Looking downfield. I set my feet and throw it. Touchdown, Bruins! It's great to put more points back up on the board and get the game back in our hands. Let's knock this onside out. I want to get one of these. That's, I, I give up on them. 22 to 7, and the defense wants to get another stop. And off to the running back, and whoa, he found a hole. But the running back goes through the middle and runs for a touchdown. Where did he get outside of our contain guy? Oh, oh, play misses. Good. You can't miss that. You got to miss it outside in. Do your job. Quit trying to do somebody else's. The offensive line is bullying them up front and they're getting tired. We've got to be able to trap. He's going to push down, you're going to block him off, and we're going to go, he's going to go get the linebacker. We call a run play to Joe Hyman. The handoff goes to Hyman. Our tanks up front, they do their job. They clear the way. The five, touchdown Bruins! Ran up the middle and nobody touched me. Offensive line, they really stepped it up on this play. Nice job inside! Nice job inside! Nice job! Yep. Those are my guys, and I love those guys, and they just put in the work just to make things happen for me. I want to do a slow NBA, I think. You good? They've been working on these. You can tell that they know how to recover them. Man, the impact was already made before we got to the game. So this week we're practicing the onside kick. They had spent a lot of time they don't normally spend in this aspect of the game. So first look at the corner. If he does this, if he backs out, immediately safety for one of those. If he goes in, now you're looking for the fade. 
on the sidelines where you're talking about it. If we can get Jaden on a fade, he can run past that defender. In the gun, there's the snap. Jaden runs a fade down the sidelines. I let the ball fly and complete to Jaden Kelly, and he's forced out of bounds. Hey, hey Jay hey, Kelly, hey, that's what we freaking need right there. Definitely going on that huddle account. There's the snap to Bratcher, and he's got lots of blocking. I run it in for a one yard touchdown, and now it's 35 to 14. No more what kind of pain you're feeling. Tough it out for 27 yep. more minutes. Let's go. 27 more. We've got a 35 14 lead. There's less than a minute left in this first half. They drop back, throw a long pass. Dang it, dang it, dang it. It's un freaking believable. Makes it 35 21. With 53 seconds left, we're going to get the ball. They got plenty of time. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Yes, Let's go quads right, silo left, eight hitch. We like to play. We aren't taking a knee right before half. We're trying to put that ball in the end zone and put more points up on the board. He's going to force it in himself just to pick up a few yards. Bratcher has a man on the right side. That's Mason Cobb received. There's the snap to Bratcher. He's looking for the pass. He's got Merrick Jones down there on the right side. Six seconds left on the clock or before half. Coach Kelly calls a timeout. 50 tied, okay? You got to look quick because he's going to zip it. Do not run around. You gotta throw it. Just a few seconds remaining in the first half. This! There's Bratcher with the snap. He's looking. I wanted the play to develop. Throw it! I wait too long. There's the pass, and there's no one there to receive it. No! It took too long! God! I just told him! So that's gonna be the end of this first half. You have to throw it immediately. Remember we said throw it immediately? That's on anything because of the field goal. To his credit, he goes, when you change the play, I thought maybe you were all in on this being a touchdown or not, so that's why I bought time. We're still feeling good, but definitely feel like we should have scored. They have a little momentum scoring right before half. That's one half of football down, but that ain't what makes champions, and we know that, right? Yes, and I will guarantee you right now, you may be tired, you may be hurting, you ain't as tired as they are, and you ain't hurting as bad as they are right now. I love watching your first half. I want to watch the second half and love it, and then love the celebration at the end. But you got to play smart brewing football. Everybody got it? Yes, sir. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, D. Right after half, they tried to pass it again to Chris Hightower. Steps back, looks to pass down the left side. There's the pass. Come on, Clay. Go get that ball, baby. Go get the ball, baby. He touches the ball, it is behind him, and then he ends up catching the ball. He's got it! That's an interception by Clay James! He's running yeah. back! The most amazing interception that I've seen. Clay James gets a chance to redeem himself and does just that for the previous game when they threw it up on fourth down late in the game and it was a jump ball and Hightower comes down with it. Tailback. So we get down to the 10-yard line, and Coach Kelly puts no one in. We're all getting a little jittery because what happened in the last game, we ran a trick play. So I'm a little worried, but got to trust in my coach and what he's calling. Not really sure what they're doing here. No one hands the ball off to me, and I grab the ball and throw it to Cooper, and it's a touchdown. Touchdown Bruins! We know that we can't let off because of what has happened previously, but we're in good shape. Big play, D! Let's go, big play! There's the snap. Looks like he's going to give the quarterback a little pressure. Hits the quarterback while he's passing it. Pass gets out there, and it's it's intercepted by Braden Cash. He comes up, makes a big play interception. We just got to keep putting it on him. It's fourth down. Bratcher is in the shotgun. He has quads on the left side, a single man on the right. There's the snap. Play breaks down and I scramble. He's going to scramble out of the pocket. He's running down the right side of the field. He might have it. We get the first down. At this point, everything seems to be clicking. They're ready to give up. Gosh dang it, they're ready to lay down. Bratcher has the snap. He's looking to pass. He's got a man in there. Throw the ball to Mason Cobb. He scores a touchdown.
Laura Christian's worn out and tired, and they're on the verge of breaking. This is huge. Do you understand? Yes, sir. And we're gonna get, we're gonna make this play. Yes, sir. Fumble, and Matthew Hug recovers the ball for a turnover, and we're all going crazy. Bruins have it back. We're jacked at this point. Things are just going our way. We're feeling great about it. Good job. We never slow down our offense. We have to stay true to ourselves here and finish them off. This is to go up 35 points and put the mercy rule in effect. To pass. He's got Mason Cobb out there. Throw it to Mason Cobb. Joe Hamas coming around the edge. Pitches it back to Joe. And Joe just takes him down the sideline. At this point, we know we're going to win the game. You are the man, Mason Cobb. Freaking call. You are the man. We just put the dagger in and then the game is done. I'm proud of you for fighting back. I know I'm held a little. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Ah, yeah. Man, it's good. Good feeling, isn't it? Everyone's just coming together, just celebrating, just so excited. Not one person didn't have a smile on her face. What we've been wanting for the past year and it all happening right in front of us. My season was so up and down. Everything worked out in the end. Good to see it all come together. The silent practice and the sarcastic practice and all the up downs and the bus rides and the hard practices, and it's all worthwhile after this. Challenging road, but we did it. Everything we overcame, it just kind of all settled in. There's no greater feeling than winning that state championship. The good thing is, I get to watch play in college. Just watch the Thank you so much. Great job. Your 2019 Most Valuable Player for the 5A State Championship is number 12. Yeah. I got the MVP award, but I don't really like that, to be honest, just because our team, both sides of the ball were clicking. There should have been 10 other players that got the MVPs. Coach Kelly, he pushes us every day to be the best version of ourselves we can be. It's an unbelievable moment. It's what we've been uh, searching for for the past year. Great team win. Last game to ever play with them, so couldn't ask for anything better. The awesome part was to look at the kids' faces and see them smile, and then I looked at them and said, was it all worth it? Was 12 months of this worth it? And they all said, yes, sir, just a resounding. So if it's worth it to them, then we're doing something right. Anything that is going to be worth that feeling right when we won, that's a great feeling, right? Sure. If you don't work as hard, it doesn't mean as much. I promise you, there is nothing greater in your life that you'll ever feel as a part of a group than you're feeling right now. Love you guys. Let's call it up one last time. Hey, Bruins on three. One, two, three. Bruins. I want to say a few things. One, just because you didn't have the moment you wanted in the final game, doesn't mean you didn't have your moment in a game or a practice or whatever, and you all did. We all had some battles. Jaden, your battle this year was tough. You had a phenomenal season last year, and then you come back and you wanted to change positions, and you did that and you had to battle your way through, but you kept battling, finally battled, and then boom, we got a glimpse of what you're gonna be when you go to college. I got a couple offers from D2 schools. Talked to my parents and my family about it. I ended up deciding to accept the preferred walk-on to University of Central Arkansas. 
Honestly, probably my favorite thing about you, Jaden, is the fact that I think that you loved football and watching football and watching the game more than anybody else on our team. My biggest takeaway from TA football is hard work always beats talent. It's extremely hard to win. We just have a group of people that work hard, do their job. It all comes together to form championship. We solidified ourselves as winners, and we also got us back on the championship winning path. That wouldn't change the season at all. Seniors, you're excused, and I'm gonna talk to the rest of you guys for just another minute. Savannah, you coming back next year? Okay. You sure or you don't know? And I've learned so much from football. The hype and the freak out after you get an onside kick or winning a championship, you don't get all that excitement and anything else. She's had the highest percentage of recoveries of onside kicks of anybody that we've had at PA. Savannah came in wanting to have an impact. She's done exactly that. I could not be more proud of her because I know it had to be hard. And she won our guys' respect. To any girls out there that are looking to play football, I'd say give that thing a try. I love football so much, but next year, I think I'm gonna pursue soccer a little more and I'm gonna put football aside. I'm definitely gonna miss it, but I'm hoping to get the chance to play college soccer. As you look around, you see the beginnings of our squad here, right? We're losing almost our whole defense. Man, there's a lot of spots wide open, and I hope you've got visions of contributing at that particular spot. It's my responsibility to keep the tradition of PA football. We're enjoying our championship win, but after that, we just have to flip the switch and get back to work. Some of you, we're gonna have higher, super higher expectations because you're gonna have to step at the free cup, and I think you'll be ready to do that. I look around a little bit, and I'm thinking, you know, I just have to step it up even more, and then this is kind of my team. I just have to be a leader for everybody else. Hey, who's on three? One, two, three, go! Could I give you that? Yeah. And I don't even know, is that something you thought about? Have you mm -hmm. talked about that with anybody? No. I mean, as you get bigger and stronger, probably won't give it to you more. Obviously, next year, we'll have to rely on you even more, but you yeah, did up having almost 2,000 yards this year. I have the offer from SMU, but that's really it. At these other colleges, they're not really looking at me right now, so I just have to keep working hard so in the season that I can just do big things and then they'll maybe start looking at me more. Here's where we are. Don't know how y'all feel about this, don't really care. Open competition isn't a word I like to use, but that's what we're having. Competition makes people better. But we gotta turn that into a championship team somehow. And I've thought that every year, and basically when I look at it, I'm like, freak, we gotta turn that into a championship team. It starts with y'all, you know what I'm saying? Big shoes to fill that kid right there, right? Well, we gotta figure out a way to do it. In terms of my college decision, I wanted to wait it out a little bit and see if anything else came around. Is that good? I decided I was gonna accept the preferred walk-on and go to SMU. I'm very excited to have the opportunity to play football and further my education at SMU. We had our ceremony and everything for the then. Arkansas comes around, they gave me a preferred walk-on. Growing up, you're playing football and you're like, I wanna play for the Razorbacks. I've lived in Arkansas my whole life, and I'm able to go up there and have the opportunity to earn my shot and play for the Razorbacks. From August till now, we've had plenty of ups and downs, but looking back, they just steps to where we are now. Now Coach Kelly has to add to that tattoo. I had them going in numerical order down, and I went down with seven of them, or six of them. So seven made sense, but now eight, to make them balance out, it's gotta be the fourth. So that screws it all up. You win a championship for the rest of the year, music sounds better, food tastes better, the birds sing a little louder. I mean, just everything's better. We're expected to win, and it's such a relief. People have asked me, what's your favorite state championship? I say, the next one. But I'm gonna say this. That's the happiest moment I've had in the state championship game because of the history of what they had gone through in the last year. So we get to celebrate for a day or two as coaches, but now it's time to get ready for the next one. Bruin Football 2020 it starts right now. Oh my God, this new overtime cut sleeve is perfect for running. It feels so free. Go get yours right now. Click the link in the bio, check out these videos, and subscribe. See ya.